So let me show you an example of some Muslim answers. <clears throat> this guy, his name is Yikis. Yikis. Mr. Yikis, he says to us, Allah, the name of Allah, maker of everything. <laughs> And then he continues saying, <laughs> You ask him, Why is Allah Allah? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm telling you, one day I'm going to die from heart attack just laughing. Abdul, I'm asking. And by the way, people they say what Abdul mean. Abdul, every Muslim believe that he is the slave of Allah, and Abdul Abdullah mean the slave of Allah. So all of them they are Abdul. This is what they call themselves, each other. So this is not an insult. Don't take it as an insult. No, this is what they call each other. If you remember, there's I was debating the Sheikh from New York. So he was saying to me, "This is saying there's a guy his name is Abdul, and the other guy is Abdullah." You remember? Yeah. Go watch the video. So this is what they call each other too. So. You ask him, why is Allah, Allah, logic, question mark, the knowledge of many things is only with Allah. <laughs> question the creator of what, that word, what you expect as an answer. <laughs> Is, I think your wife she will she will never use a TV station my friend you are the best TV station all what she do she need to touch your nipples and then you flip channels to the comedy ones between the right com comedy and the left comedy so each nipples will work for a, a, what what is this man I mean did you spend too much time to answer this question <laughs> I'm not asking you what he do. Remember, I said it clearly, don't tell me he's the creator. Don't tell me he is the tall. Don't tell me he is short. I'm saying what Allah means. What Allah means. Do you know? You don't. And this is a clear evidence that you Muslims, you stole the name from somebody else. You have no answer. All the explanation, including actually, there's one of them. He posted a he posted a comment, but he took it off. But thank God, I remember the name of the video he posted, and he said to me, "Why you don't play this?" I don't know if somebody can see the link there. I did not see it. You know, I look for his comment. He paused for us a video. He's saying, "Why you don't play this? This is the name, the the meaning of Allah," and I will play it. You know. So I'm asking you, what Allah mean? So now I said to the Abdul, well, I'm asking what Allah means. And now he like he got excited and he come back. The Arabian prophet, yes. And the answer, Allah knows what Allah means. <laughs> so that's deep that's literally deep my brother that's a, I mean you punish me in the face man I'm not dumb like Christians okay hello <laughs> we will definitely ask him in Jannah inshallah so he will ask Allah what Allah mean definitely in Jannah in heaven <laughs> Very simple question, they have no idea. All this religion, you brother, we are one point, uh, you know, yesterday they were 1.4, two weeks after they are 1.6, three weeks after they are two billions. Just wait, wait until the end of the year, they say we are four, four billions. Now, come on, even rabbit don't do that. So you will ask Allah, when you go to heaven, because he knows best what Allah mean? Hmm. Okay, I think uh, you got me there, brother. You got me. You know, truly you got me. I mean, unbelievable. Hmm. Let us see another Abdul. <clears throat> uh, 
I mean, the, the comments are really hilarious. Go read them and laugh. Let us see, where is the guy? His name is Dr. Ahmed. Oh, Dr. Ahmed, where is Dr. Ahmed? I mean, too many comments to find somebody. Okay, Dr. Ahmad. Where are you? Ah, here we go. Dr. Ahmad. Dr. Ahmad, he got us busted. I'm Arabian. Your translation and explanation are wrong. First of all, try to be honest in translation, you idiot. I was reading your translation. What my translation? I mean, stupidity is really amazing. I'm showing in the screen. Go back to the video. I'm showing in the screen what your Muslim translation is. And you know what? I will shave my 20. It was 28 yesterday. Today is 29. Must be because you know I'm using fertilizer of Allah. <laughs> it's 29 now. I'm Arabian. Your translation and explanation are wrong. First, try to be honest in translation. I did not use any translation of mine. I use your translation. This is your Muslim website. It's called the Wow Quran Wow. Like Mr. Wow. What the translation, my friend? I'm using your translation. Like which translation I used, what was mine? Is that my website? Is my name? I let us see a translation here. Like I think this is the from, from yesterday, you know. And my browser go back to the history sometime. Sometime it, it failed. Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Your translation is not honest. <laughs> And then he says, Allah have 99 names. Abdul, first of all, why your God have 99 names? Why he stop with the 99? I mean, come on, give him one more. <laughs> you know the thing? <laughs> Even Joe Biden will not like that. So listen, Allah have 99 names, but you fail to explain the, 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 the major name of Allah. The rest are, the most of the series are attribute. Those are attribute and they, they say they are names. Okay, no problem. Al Muqit. Allah is Al Muqit. Allah is the angry. Allah is the revenge. Allah, I mean, all, all those names are stupid. Allah is a believer. Al Mu'min. Can you believe it? Allah is a believer. You believe in what? So, and I, actually, if we ask the Muslims, find us the 99 names in the Quran, you will find that we will not even find 60% of them. There's a there's a Kuptic, a Christian a priest, is a good man. Uh, he challenged the Muslim to find the 99 names, and then the Azhar University, they agree, they are not in the Quran. <laughs> Most of them, they are imported from China. <laughs> so what is the answer? I'm Arabian. Okay, why you don't call me, Mr. Arabian? Are you in the chat, Arabian? Business uh, doctor? Hmm? Do you use camera urine when people come to you to the clinic, Mr. Doctor? As long as you're a doctor, let us go, you know, let's, let's see. Let us see the doctor inside you. Let us see the certificate you have, brother. <clears throat> so, as you see, they are so desperate and they do not know what to say. Another guy, he says to you, do you know that uh, the, the Aramaic, they say Allah, Allah, my friend, they don't say Allah, they say Aloha. <laughs> A-L is a word meaning God in the ancient Aramaic and even in the ancient Hebrew because the Hebrew anyway is coming from the Aramaic. So A-L is a word meaning God. E-L is the new version of the ancient Aramaic, which is God too. So A-L, let us make it, uh, <clears throat> let us put it for you in the screen for the ignorant. Don't be insulted if I say you're ignorant, by the way, because I am ignorant in many stuff too. You know, all of us, we have some form of ignorance. 
the, the, the ignorance will be an insult to you if you don't improve your knowledge if you decide to stay ignorant <clears throat> so al is a word mean god regardless if this you say capital god is small god doesn't matter really it's a god Okay, the God of the believer or the God of the non-believer, the God of the hypocrite, the God of the pagans, the God, the, the God. So you can make it capital because this is in English, exist in a small capital and big capital. This is why Israel was not Israel. Israel was Israel in the ancient Hebrew. Mikael was Mikael. Gabriel was Gabriel. Ishmael, he was Ishmael. Because those are not even part of the name. This is not a name. Al is a word meaning God. In the New Aramaic, and same as in the New Hebrew, Al became El, which is again a word meaning God. So what happened is that time change, you know, language change, and the AL became EL. This is why you will find in the old in the in the Old Testament in Hebrew some names still they are using uh, AL like Daniel, you know, Daniel. Okay, so. When an ignorant like Muhammad, a thief, a liar, a stole maker, he copy from other culture and other language, and then he place it in his own religion, say this has belonged to me. Muhammad was a thief when he would go to somewhere, he, saw, he see something, he like it, he adopt it. And we can give you many examples as, as, as if we go here, let's see, just to show you an example. Like now, the Muslims are fasting Ramadan. If you ask the Muslim, Ramadan is what? What is Ramadan? They will say to you, uh, this is where the Quran came, but the Quran did not come in Ramadan. Quran come, come in, uh, in many years of Islam. And Ramadan, as you know, sometimes it's July, sometimes it's February, sometimes it's December. So if the Quran came in such a month, then such a month should be follow. Which month? Your Ramadan go around the year, around the, the, the clock. If you look with me here, uh, to show you how Muhammad he copy things. <clears throat> Why Muhammad, as an example, he chose to fast the day of Kabor or the day of they call it Ashura in Arabic, supposedly. Read with me, first of all, here. This hadith says that Quraysh used to fast the day of Ashura in the pre-Islamic period. And the Prophet used to fast it too. Obviously, this Ashura is the same other Ashura we will talk about soon because it cannot be. Either it's for the Jews or it's for Quraysh. Quraysh didn't worship the God of the Jews. So why Muhammad he adopted Ashura? Because this is what the pagan Arab day practice. He practiced it too. Let us continue. Muhammad he went and he was he came to Yathrib, which is now the city. It's called Medina. Muhammad he changed the name. All right. And then he saw a bunch of Jews fasting. You know. Uh, he said to them, "What is this day?" Let us see, hold on, let me show you. Show you. <clears throat> he asked the Jews, why you are fasting this day? They said this is the day where uh, Musa, he crossed the sea.
I will show you many examples of this madness, of this thief. I mean, there's a million hadith about it, but we want a specific one. Okay, hold on. Let us do it. <clears throat> and again, you will see Abdul saying to you, he is using the translation. This is his translation. I'm using your translation. This is your website. Focus with me, Abud. Abdul. Focus. If you do not, if you do not know what focus mean, look, uh, take the prophet as an example of focusing. <clears throat> Let us see here. Hold on. All right. Here we go. We found it. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He fast. He added a fasting day to his religion. Just because a Jew, he said we fasted. Welcome to Muhammad. When the prophet came to Medina, he found the Jews fasting on the day of Ashura. They used to say, this is a great day, which Allah saved Moses. Remember, this is the Muslim saying that, not us, not the Jews. The Muslim saying that. And downed, drowned the folk of Pharaoh. So this is the occasion. Okay, let us get more details. Read with me carefully. And this is Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim Hadith, which means very authentic. So don't tell me the weak and the garbage you have. Ibn Abbas said that Allah Messenger came to Medina, to Yathrib, the city of the Jews, and he found the Jews observing the fast of day of Ashura. So he asked, what was significant about this day what is special why you are observing it they, re they replied it is the day that which God see not Allah delivered Moses and his people and drowned Moses so drowned Pharaoh and his people so Moses observed that fast out of gratitude and look what Muhammad he said he said we have more right and we have we have a closer connection with Moses than than you. So God Messenger observe observed it and fast himself and gave order to fast that day. Okay. Here you noticed the copy cut paste cult. Copy cut. They don't even copy the whole thing. They copy, they cut, and then they paste. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, how come Allah never informed him yet about this day? Secondly, if the Jews they fast this day, and Moses fast that day, was he informed by Allah that fast this day? Because Musa fasted? No. Who informed him? A Jew. So we have a clear evidence that Islam is established by copying others. What if the Jews were wrong? What if Moses did not fast this day? What if the guy who said that to you is a liar? What kind of a prophet you are? Do you take your order of fasting? You give it, you are establishing an act of worship, an act of uh, 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 religion based in what a Jew said? Is it the Jews supposedly the enemy of Allah? It is not Jibreel who told him. It's not Allah who told him. 
And later when Muhammad, he mixed himself with the Sabian, he heard about the Sabian fasting five day, five times a day, sorry, praying five times a day, and they fast Ramadan. The Sabian, what they do, they have a celebration every year. The moon of Ramadan come, the moon of Ramadan goes. So they go to the city of Haran, the moon appear in a city, the second city they will come, the second year, oh sorry, uh, uh, 30 days after, they go and say goodbye for him in their city. And the same they do in the, other, the, the next year. They welcome him in one city and they goodbye to him or they welcome him again in different city. It's like coming to a new place. It's like a new moon is coming. This is Ramadan. The evolution is from the Sabian. Go watch the video. Search for Sabian evolution. Go watch it. It's exactly as Muhammad he do. And we cannot say the Sabian copying from Muhammad because the Sabians are one of the most old religions in the Middle East. So we cannot say, oh, the Sabian are copying from Muhammad. That's, that would be a joke. The way they put water in their ears, the way they blow their nose, the way they, everything, their feet, their hands, everything step by step. So now going back to our topic. When you as a Muslim, you say to me, you are giving us wrong translation, and I'm showing you in the screen your own website, your own English, your own Arabic, and then you cannot answer me, so you say he is giving you false translation. And you will notice that all the comment we saw, none of them have to do with the question. One saying to you, you worship Trinity. But this had to do with our question. And then Dr. Ahmed, he said, thought I am not a religious person, but while I went to challenge someone, my opponent must be at least honest person. Look who is talking. People who believe in taqiyya and lying and take an oath by Allah name falsely. Isn't it your God Allah? And now he will say to me, ah, the wrong translation, you are giving us false translation. Hmm? Isn't it Allah who says to you, Allah will not take you accountable for false oath? As long you don't mean it. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> if a Muslim he took a false oath, this is the only religion where false oath, as long you don't mean it. So a Muslim he can tell to you, you say, I swear by Allah, you will like the Christians. I swear by Allah, Islam teach us peace. Allah will not take you an accountable for your oath. Why? Because you don't mean it. In your heart, there is something else. You don't mean what you are saying. So I can swear I can lie and I can do as much as I want. Now, who is a Muslim in the chat? He will say to me, I challenge you to find me the reference. Anyone? Who is a Muslim will say this is going to be true because this is embarrassing. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do you see it? Dr. Ahmed, are you willing to call me right now and get me busted? Oh, I forgot, you cannot debate someone not honest, but I thought the whole point of a debate is busting someone is lying. No?
is it this is what the point of like I'm wanting to debate all Muslims why because I want to show people that they, you know they are not telling the truth it's very well known that Muslims they fabricate answers have nothing to do with their religion in order to overcome the argument by lying as an example there's a guy his name is her, her name is Mimi uh, they ask her uh, Allah have body part he said who says so but we go right now to YouTube you see Zach and Nick say Allah have body part, body part all the Muslims they say Allah have hands have fingers but in the debate he said who said so read with me chapter 2 verse number 225 this is some of the verses not all of them chapter 5 verse number 89 Read and laugh. While Jesus forbid you from even taking oath, either you say yea, yea, or nay, nay, anything else is from the devil. Any addition is from the devil. Allah is saying to them, Aka Muhammad, you can take a false oath. Allah will not take you, will not call you to account for which we with you made as oath and unintentional this is what they are saying you know in the translation this is your translation by the way not me okay, what does that mean i'm lying then but allah call you in account in which your heart have earned what does that mean what do you mean i don't mean to take to this this oath i'm lying this oath it's just a joke. Change the translator, you will find a new Quran. Because every translator he play with the Quran as playing with football. This is Muhammad Biktal. He will say to me, No, this is your translation. False translation. Hold on. <laughs> Let us go. <laughs> Oh boy. Let us go to Victor. The page is switch. If there is any Muslim he have something to say, please feel free. We will be happy to listen to you. Allah will not take you to task for which and intentional in your oath. Go and read the interpretation and die laughing. If we go to chapter 3, verse number 28, you will see the Muslims, they are given an open license to lie. It's called taqiyya. And many naive people do not know that uh, 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 the longer the beard, the bigger the lie can be. They are allowed to lie, my friend, and you are naive. This is the religion. This is the religion of the devil, literally. Because what kind of God, his name is Allah, you call him potato, tomato, who care? What kind of God, he says to you, you can say to them nice things, but your heart means something else. You cannot take them as a friend, but if you take them as a friend and you mean it, you are not a Muslim no more, and you have no honor, no protection, and we will kill you. And the funny that the God of this religion called, the one who don't believe in him, hypocrite, but he is the one calling the Muslim to be hypocrite. Let not the believers take the, the uh, let let the, the believer not to take the non-believers, the hypocrite, as a friend. The Jews, their friends. The Christians, their friends. Okay. As become mighty and honorable in preference to the believers, who are sincere. Okay. So the one who is sincere by taking them as a friend, and he gave them honor, a mighty respect. By taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friends, he has no connection with Allah. How many Muslims you heard them saying, we respect Christians, we love them, uh, you know, we hear Obama, you know, give us this garbage, we hear uh, George Bush saying to us, Islam is bees, uh, you know, we hear all the madness, you know, all the liars. But the problem is, the truth hurt. And they think by saying those statements, politically correct statement, they can hide it from us and we can have peace. Peace will never exist in this earth. You need to know. Because that as long as the devil is exist, peace will not exist. 
The devil have many names. He have many forms. Muhammad is one of it. And look at the teaching. And you tell me if this is the teaching of the devil. And then look, 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 read carefully. So the one who has taken a, someone is not a believer. This believer seeking might and honor with this disbeliever. By taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friends, he has no connection to Allah. How many of you naive people keep saying to us, I have a Muslim friend? Okay, no, I, I believe you. You believe he's a friend, right? But, but he cannot take you as a friend. The Quran has tons of verses. Chapter 5, verse number 51 is an example. It says specifically, you cannot take Christians and Jews as a friend. So the one who take us as a friend, he have no honor, have no protection from Allah, which means we will kill you. Gang, you see the gang? He have no honor or protection from Allah. Protection from Allah means the Muslim will not kill you if you have a protection from Allah. If you don't, we kill you. Your blood is free. Just because you took a Christian person as a friend, your blood is for free. Unless, unless, it be that you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking as it were security. Ah, we are talking about Erdogan now. He joined the NATO. We are talking about Saudi Arabia. They opened more than 20 base of the American in their land. We are talking about Qatar. We are talking about Pakistan or Pakistan, the Pornistan, as Fox News said, according to Google. The Muslim will say to you, oh, this is about war, my friend. Muslims believe that they are in war with everyone who don't believe in Allah. I mean, stupidity is amazing. And there's many foolish people, they don't want to listen. This is a person who I take you as a friend. What war? He cannot take me as a friend. It is him who cannot take me as a friend. So if we are in war, already we are not friends anyway. But here it says clearly, you cannot take them as a friend, which means the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddha, they want to take you as a friend, but you cannot, because if you take them as a friend, you are enemy of Allah too. This is why you find in different places in the book of the devil, the Quran, where it says, you cannot even take your parents. Even your parents. Even your family. Chapter 58, verse number 22. The Quran says you will not find one believer, just one, who take those who oppose Allah, who will love those who oppose Allah. Even if they are your sons, your fathers, your sisters, your mothers. And then this coward, he says, I need to debate someone at least honest. Look who's talking. A person who follow a prophet saying, you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this, read carefully. Saving yourself from them by speaking to them in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Have you ever heard of more satanic cult? Ugly more than this? I have no problem to take Muslims as a friend. Why not? I believe there's good people, bad people everywhere. I might find a guy, a neighbor, maybe. He's a Muslim and he's a nice person. Why not? But now after I learn this, I cannot take him as a friend because I'm not a fool. He might be lying to me all day long shaking hands say we are friends because the second he say I'm a Muslim that's when he believe in this I have nothing against him as a person as a human being but I have a problem with this how I can guarantee that this Muslim who is coming to my house is not going to practice this on me he believe I am an enemy and he's lying to me so maybe one day he can do something wrong to me Speaking to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this. So, Dr. Ahmad, are you speaking to us in a friendly way? 
Don't get it close to Christian Prince. You are no match. And this is why none of you, none of you shake dare to call me. Now we go back to our topic. But thank you, Dr. Ahmed, for your help. Because you open another window to expose the cult of Muhammad. Because if Muhammad is from God, he should say, be friend to everybody. Be honest with everybody. Speak with dignity with everybody. Not lying to Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas, but be honest with Muslims. This is a gang system. This is not a religion. Another Muslim, he says, why you don't play? The comment is there. He says, why you don't play the whole video of Zakir Naik? I said, okay, where is the, okay, I will play it, but where is the answer? Here we go, this is Zakir Naik video. If you listen to it, you will die laughing. Where is the answer? Still we are waiting. Who is Allah? There is no answer. Read carefully, listen carefully. But the crowning name is Allah. Hmm. Now why do we Muslims prefer calling Allah by the Arabic word Allah instead of the English word God? The reason is sister, all the other names and words, they can be played around with. For example, the English word God, if you add S to God, it becomes God's. <sighs> Brother, look at the answer. Brother, if in English you add S to God, you make it God's. Can you add S to Allah? Yes, I can. <laughs> I do, why not? <laughs> Look at the answer. She is asking you, why you are you calling him Allah? You say because it is not God's, it's one. So who cares? Okay, Jesus. Hey, Jesus is one. There's Jesus. This is Jesus. I mean, look at the excuse. Look at the stupidity. This is the answer. And this is the guy said to me, why you don't play the rest of the video? Because he got you busted there. Let us see. I want to continue. Plural of God. There's nothing like plural Allah. Kul hu Allah ahad. You just confirmed that Allah is not one. Because you said, Kul hu Allah ahad. Ahad in Arabic is mean echad. This is from the Hebrew. And this is from the Aramaic. And echad is not one as a person. It's a unity. This is why the Bible says that the man, he leave his parents and he would become with his wife, Echad. Ahad. <laughs> so the idiot who do not know Arabic. I mean, there's a guy who said in the comment, it's not fair to complain about the Arabic of Zak and Naik. My friend, I'm not complaining about his Arabic. I'm showing you how stupid it is because if you don't know Arabic, don't speak Arabic. But acting, claiming to be a scholar in the religion, yet you do not know the language. You see, if I want to claim to be a scholar in the in the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, I have to speak. I mean, people will laugh at me if I say I'm a scholar in the Hebrew, but I don't know Hebrew. Are you getting the point? Or you as a person who believe in Allah, you don't have any point anyway. So when Muhammad, the liar, he took the word Ikhad and he says, Oh, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Will he just expose himself? Because Ikhad is a unity. And you can go and open. The Hebrew Bible. And if we go right now to the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, actually, this is an insult to yellow pages. If you remember the video of Noaman Khan, he said, uh, you know, like the Quran is really not organized at all. <laughs> 
He said, I am against you say chapter one, chapter two, because chapter one is mean organized, the story is coming in order. In the Quran, there's no order. Exactly. So if we type the word Ahad here, and I will type it in the front of you, Abdul. Ahad. Hmm? Am I typing in English or uh, English? Hold on. Switch to Arabic. <clears throat> this is Ahad. Hmm. Look at this. All those verses using the word Ahad in the search engine here appear 29 times, but I think it appeared more. Ahad. 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 You will say to me, there's Tashkil here, but you know, Muhammad, when he have the Arabic, there's no Tashkil and there's no dots anyway. Ahad mean one off. Okay, like as an example. Chapter 11, verse number 81. Or let us go to this one. This one is even easier. Chapter 33, verse number 40. The word Ahad translated as any of. You see, this is the word Ahad. Muhammad was not the father of any of you, Ahad. Any of. Ahad cannot be one. It had to be one of. Ahadul Tulab, one of the students. Ahadul Talamid, Ahadul Asatida, Ahadul Al Hamir, one of the donkeys. This would have mean. But the word used in that word, in that phrase, where Zakir Naik is quoting, he is copying a chad. O Israel, your God is one. This is what Muhammad trying to say. He's trying to copy the Jews. O Israel, your God is one. Even that statement is a copy of somebody. But by using the word Ahad, he got himself busted again. Because Ahad mean one off, not one. As an example in Genesis chapter 1, verse number 15, and God, he says, that God called the day, the light day, and the darkness called night. And then, and the morning we are, the first day. That is the Echad, the first day, Echad. But it's one of many. But how you can inform the ignorant? And he's a stubborn, he think he knew. We go back to the video so we can laugh more or forget about this guy. Potato. Jesus versus vegan. A black stone kisser talking about Jesus versus vegan. And we got him busted there too. Continue, Zakura. If you add D-E-S-S -S to God, it becomes goddess, a female god. In Islam, there's nothing like male Allah or female Allah. Look at this liar. How many times the Quran says it is he, it is he? Like what? There's no male and female Allah? Allah is a transgender? It is he. If it is not, there's no gender. Why you are saying it is he? You see, this is what happened when you have a donkey in the stage and the rest are a bunch of a mule. And nobody understands what this guy is talking about. He thinks he's, that's it, he's saying the truth. He is all knowledgeable. In Islam, brother, we don't have he, Allah. 
When all the Quran saying it is he, it is he, it is he, and says it is we too. But when you say he, it is a mere word. Just to make it more clear, is it the Quran says if Allah want to take a wife, he will take it from us? So Allah will take a wife, but he is a female? He have no gender. So how come he will take a wife? Any Muhammadan have a comment? Chapter 21, verse number 17. The word here, past time, is lahu. Lahu in the Arabic language is women. You can go right now and open the Islamic interpretation. You will see lahu is a word mean women. Change the translator. You will see right away the word women appear in a miraculous way look at this had we intended to take a pastime i.e. a wife which will bring us a son or our son we should surely have taken it from our from us and this is again the bank that Allah is one because if Allah want to take a wife from us then how many female Allah is there And how you say that Allah is not a male, and then Allah is saying, talking about a female. In different verse in the Quran, just to show you this, those who claim to be scholars, they are just, a, you know, they are actually, they are lucky, by the way. I mean, what this guy would do for a living if there's no ignorant Muslims around? Now he have nice house, four wives, 20 kids, a lot of money. Is it in the Quran says how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? So how you say to me the Quran does not say that he is a male? Do you see it? To him, again, it's not a male, brother. It's a, Allah have no gender. To him is due the primal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he, he is not a male, obviously, have a son? Somebody might say to you, Christian, don't you say he, we, we believe that our God, Jesus, he came to this earth as a male, no problem. You Muslims, you have no idea what you are worshiping. Jesus, our Lord, the Christ, he came as a perfect male. How can he have a son when he have no girlfriend? And even the Quran is so filthy, he did not even use the word wife, he was a concert, a girlfriend, sahiba. So when this Abdul, he tried to answer something, first of all, he answered nothing about the question. He's just saying to us, we're favorite because it's not a male or female. This is why you use the word Allah. Well, there's many words that they are not male or female then. We can use them as Allah too. Is the word chair male or female? <laughs> Continue, Abdul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. Hmm. If you add father to God it becomes Godfather he's my Godfather he's my guardian okay if you have father to God so how the Arab they say is Allah have three daughters I mean look at the city is this is silly answer what does this have to do with the question this is what happened when you ask them an embarrassment question they don't know he's just making his own you know, like, uh, let me find a way to say something. You know, I have to say something. But this is all have nothing to do with the question. The question you should say, okay, well, Allah, he, Allah, he said, he, his name is Allah. Okay, but what Allah mean? They don't know. Continue. There's nothing like Allah, Abba, or Allah, Father in Islam. So how do you say that the God of the Christian is the same as the God of the Muslims? 
because the Christian they called God our father then you will find somebody even saying to you the Arab Christian they use in their translation in the Arabic translation as the same as the Indonesian Christians or in Malaysia they use the word Allah which is a false translation but as you see here we go they are using false translation and they say Allah has is our father so the name did not prevent that from happening it's stupid and the Arab they say Allah have three daughters so that did not prevent that from happening if you add a mother to God it becomes Godmother then okay well, guys if you add a mother to God well here we go you add three daughters to Allah what a different What is different? The Arab they added three daughters to Allah, Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat, and some they say even Manat is the wife. They are not sure which one is the wife. There's nothing like Allah mother or Allah Amin Islam. If you prefix tin before God, it becomes tin God, meaning a fake God. There's nothing like tin Allah in Islam. That is the reason we Muslims we prefer calling Allah. Did you see? We Muslim, we prefer to call Allah, Allah. It's a prefer. Did you hear this? We prefer. So what this idiot saying, we Muslim look at names and we could not find better name than this name. <laughs> we look between the words and we say, okay, well, this is the name look like this is the, 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 this is the best between all the names. So you are worshiping a name, you do not know what the name is, just because you are saying you cannot make it male or female, you cannot make it grandfather, you cannot make it poor. I mean, what this is stupid as what kind of religion this religion is? This is the reason. Remember, he is uh, he's telling you why he is calling God Allah. And the reason is the following. But none of them is an answer for anything. And that's mean you made a choice of a word. If you find a better word tomorrow, you will dump this word and go to the other word. Continue. A bishop and cross when I said Bible use. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. By the Arabic word Allah. And that's the reason this word Allah is also present in most of the major religious scriptures. Mm. If you read the six scriptures, one of the attributes given to Almighty God is Allah. If you read the Christian Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 15, verse 34, in the Gospel of Matthew... Stop! Stop! Let me go there. There is no such a thing. Even the word there does not talk about God, you idiot. The, the guy he caught, whatever he caught, the Muslim they put in the screen. Here we go. This is all the translation for Mark 13.34. What translation you want? And you can use even the Hebrew one. Where? What? How? But you know, when you are a liar, you say whatever you want. Here we got you busted. You don't even know how to quote correctly. Which verse you are talking about? Chapter number 27, verse number 46. When Jesus Christ peace be upon him, when we was put on the cross, he cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. <laughs> Eli, Eli is Allah. Abdul, it is Eli, Eli, Eli. A L A L Ye to make it my. So, Eli Eli is a quotation from the Old Testament. Eel is the word which is God. It's not even a name, you idiot, you donkey. So, what eel have to do with Allah? Oh God, oh God, why hast thou forsaken me? Okay, hold on. As long as you just say that eel is what Jesus said. So why you Muslim you say that you follow Jesus too? 
You see, Jesus did not say, Allah, he says, Eli. It is you who said that, not me. So why you are following a God you do not know where? Uh, Eli, Eli is Allah, Allah. I mean, they are pretty close. Like, just a distance of 2,000 miles between them. Say that again, again, brother. I doubt. Oh God, oh God, why has thou forsaken me? Does sound like, oh God, oh God, why has thou forsaken me? No. But if you translate into Arabic, it says, Allah, 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 if you translate it into Arabic, if it, you stupid translate what? This is the Hebrew, you donkey. You, you want to translate? Like, if you translate the Arabic, it is Allah Allah. <laughs> anyway, let me show you another guy, and this will be the end of this video. Showing you clearly that Muslims do not know what they are worshipping, and in fact, they stole the name. Remember, this video is posted to me by a Muslim. A Muslim, he says to me, the meaning of Allah is in this video. The comment is there in the section, in the previous video. The link posted by a Muslim, and he is the one who asked me to play this video for you. And guess what? They agree with the Christian prince. That Allah is a theft, and we do not know what it's mean. Muslim says. What does Allah mean? Allah originally comes from the word Al-Ilah, the Lord, the deity, the one who is worthy of being deified. But the nature of language is that over time language begins to develop. And if a word is being used again and again repeatedly, sometimes things that are not essential parts of the word may be deleted over time. So for example, in Arabic, people are known as Unas. And over time, as the Arabs would say, Al-Unas, 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 some people started to speak faster and they started to then say, An-Nas. Even though the original word is still used till today, people use Al-Unas as well. And similarly, people would essentially say, Al-Ilah, 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 and over time, as the usage continued, Al-Ilah, Allah. <laughs> Hilarious, did you hear it? Did you hear it? The people, they say Al-Ilah, Al-Ilah, Al-Ilah. And by time it says, became Allah. Okay, I will go with you then. How the name became the name of your God? Because Al-Ilah is the God of anybody. And those who say that word first is the pagan. So, is it you who choose the word? People, they say it's a popular word. This is what he said. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. And please have mercy on the Abdul. Genius. He just proved that everything Christian Prince he said is absolutely true. Muslims, they are following others. They are copying others. People say. People said. People before us said. So we copy what they said. We like what they said. We choose it because we like it. We did not make it. It's not the name of Allah. It is a name coming from somebody. What does Allah mean? Allah originally comes from the word Al-Ilah, the Lord, the deity, the one who is worthy of being deified. But the nature of language is that over time, language begins to develop. And if a word is being used again and again repeatedly, sometimes things that are not essential Abdul, it's used by who? It is used by who? <laughs> used by the infidels, the pagan. So the pagan, they use it. And then Zach and Nick explain to us how unique it is, brother. This guy, he's just saying it's not unique. It, by time, they make it easier. So it was Al-Ilah. This, this, this guy, he said, I mean, do you see how every one of them, he give you different definition, different answer? Do you see how much confused they are? 
The other guy, he said to us, you cannot make it male and female when prove it to be wrong because Allah is he. Allah says, Allah can have a girlfriend, which means he is he. The Arab, they call Allah, have three daughters, so he can have children. The name will not make any difference. And now this guy is saying to you, the, the, the correct word is not Allah. It is Al-Ilah. But people don't want to speak it faster, so make it Allah. Do you hear it? So you must pray to Allah, not to Allah, or to Allah, not Al-Ilah. And how that became your God. And why you say it's a name then? Because based on what you said, it's a word meaning God. What is your God name? What does Allah mean? Allah originally comes from the word Al-Ilah, the Lord, the deity, the one who is worthy of being deified. But the nature of language is that over time, language begins to develop. And if a word is being used again and again repeatedly, sometimes things that are not essential parts of the word may be deleted over time. So for example, in Arabic, people are known as unas. And over time, as the Arabs would say, al-unas, 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 some people started to speak faster and they started to then say an-nas. An-nas. Even though the original word is still used till today, people use al-unas as well. So are you saying to me that your God, Allah, He chose the word, the people, they change it? Because the word an-nas appear in the Quran. <laughs> Allah is using the wrong word? Because you just said it is the correct one is al-unas. Al so Allah using the word an-nas, why? Like, what? I mean, where you got those people for, for, you know, for me from? I mean, you Muslims, you post those videos for me, supposed to get me busted. And look what happened. There's a chapter in the Quran. There's a chapter in the, in the Quran, you know? What the chapter is saying, brother? Huh? So Allah and the Muslims choose the wrong name. Here we go. It's called an -Nas. Do you see it? Isn't it your Muslim you say that the Quran written before all mankind is exist? But you just say that the word, this is a change. So the Quran based on this is written after the change happened. This is an nas, not a nas, as he said. The name of the Malikun Nas, read it carefully. So the Quran written after the people they changed the word. The original, the correct one is al nas, he said. But people want to make it easier, so they said an nas. Allah is Ilahun Nas. <laughs> the God of An Nas, Allah. <laughs> and I like it when the Muslim they say that he is the God with the with a small capital letter in their website. <laughs> Perfect Shaitan. You know, Allah is a small God. Do you see it? Not capital letter. The Muslims admit that Allah is the God of mankind as a small letter. Perfect. So this is the definition. Allah is not really a name. We don't know what this word means. They are saying to you, well, this is the word diverted from the word Al-Ilah. And imagine here, by the way, until now, we did not get any official answer. Like, why Muhammad did not tell us what the word mean? Why Allah did not say what the word mean? We have YouTubers. If anyone can make an answer, I can make it. I can say it to you to be a tree. Where is the official answers? And now you admitted that you are stealing the words from somebody else, and this is have nothing to do with your religion. Other religion, they would say al ilah al ilah So you make it, and you make it a name for your God. So you are looking for a God, and then you found the God as of your choice, the God of the Kaaba, the God of the Star, 
the god of the moon and you said I'm going to call him La and just to prove to you that what he said is stupid more than what he's stupid he said I mean the, 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 the answer he said is condemn mean Islam anyway but Al Ilah Al Ilah Ilah is simply El and there is little h at the end like a sound of a music Ilah still it's Ilah it's not Allah it is Il idiot Il Ilah that sound at the end the little tiny h it's not really even an h it's like a music sound they added like for something holy to make it more beautiful it's not even part of the world it is ill and we just heard Zechariah saying that Jesus said illy illy and he said this is Allah <laughs> In Arabic, people are known as Unas. And over time, as the Arabs would say, Al Unas, Al Unas, Al Unas, Al Unas, some people started to speak faster and they started to then say An Nas. Even though the original word is still used till today, people use Al Unas as well. And similarly, people would essentially say Al Ilah, Al Ilah, Al Ilah, and over time, as the usage continued, Al Ilah, Allah. <laughs> and the name then became Allah. Now we know how the name become Allah. So this is not the name of name of God. This is a word mean God. And even this is a changed word. So as long it used to be something and now became something, next year it might become something else. So now do you believe me when I say not a single Muslim can answer us? They don't know. They are trying to find a solution what the name word mean. But all will take you two seconds, my friend. We showed you in the Quran in chapter number one. And this is a screenshot from yesterday. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And this is the Muslim resemble in the Arabic. Bism is a wrong written by the way the Muslim they took the Aleph to make it short as he said to make it easier they change even the Quran <laughs> Allah he said Bism they make it Bism Bismi Lahi Rahmani Rahim Lahi He the I at the end is just like the sound the same as the H in the end at the end of Il Ilah so what is the name of your God La. The second verse, verse number two. Alhamdu li la. Li in Arabic mean two. Li mean two. La is the name of their God, as you see. That is the truth. La is not Allah and this is why the Quran deleting totally the letter Aleph in the beginning of the name because it's not a name where the letters start the name is start from the lah and now you do not need to be a genius to go to Prophet Google peace be upon him and search for lah God la is that a coincidence that the moon God is your God is coming from the Sabi and God hmm? Any Muslim? This is just an article. I'm not saying I approve it or disapprove it. But just search in Google. There's tons of article and you check it out and you study carefully what, what it is. 
Lah is the moon god. Actually, we have a clear reference that Allah name is very flexible. If you remember, Chapter of Ya Sin Ya Sin What Sin mean? Allah is the God Sin Ya is a word mean God Another word From the ancient Sabian language Ya Sin Ya is a word mean God Search right now for Sin Sin is the moon god. La is the moon god. Sin is the moon god. And both are in the in, in the Quran. And both of them are saying clearly that this is the god of Islam. And actually, if you ask the Muslim, what sin mean? What Yasin mean? They say, Allah knows best what he meant by that. <laughs> Additional proof that Islam is a forgery. They don't know. They are copying words from other religions. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Ya Sin. Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. <laughs> but if you go right now and search for God's sin, you will find that sin is the same word you use in English for sin. Like when you say this is sin, why they say that? Because say you say you are saying this is pagan. You are saying this is pagan, so this is sin. You are used in English today. Sin is the moon god. So wherever we go, we are surrounded by the moon god, and this is why we will find when we speak about the moon god, right away we will find the crescent moon. What say you, Muslims? Your God is Lah. Your God is Sin. Your God is Pagan God. And you have no idea why those names are there. Copy, cut, paste, cut is called Islam. And because you are copy, cut, paste, you do not understand what it says. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He says to you, Yeah, seen. Okay, what does that mean, brother? Allah knows best, brother, what he meant by this. Because Muhammad is copying from the book of Waraq ibn Nawfal. He does not know what those things mean. I mean, if an average Muslim do not know, I understand. But if the Prophet himself do not know, that is a different story. Any Muslims? Mr. Lunan, Lanun, he is saying prince uh, properly a princess. My friend, uh, I know, I understand that you are in pain. And supposedly you are trying to insult me. It's okay. You know, I, I welcome you to insult me more. It's a blessing for me. But my friend, as long as you are talking, Christian prince is a properly a princess. Do you want me to open, to make a special uh, call with me and ask me? If I do put eyeliner like your prophet three times on my eyes a day, if I wear women clothes like your prophet every day, if I pee like a woman like your prophet every day, are you there? And then we can find out who is the princess here. Are you there? Or maybe you can ask me, hey Christian Prince, have you ever kissed your friend down his belly like the Prophet Muhammad? Is that a new tradition in the Middle East? I'm a Middle Eastern. Since when we Middle Easterns, we kiss each other down the belly? Huh? 
Huh? And then the guy said, oh, don't stop. This is how I like it. Oh, brother, don't stop. Don't stop, please. And you are talking about prince and princess. Don't go there. You are talking to Christian prince. You will be humiliated, you and your prophet. If you try to humiliate me, good for you, no problem. But remember, I know all the laundry of your prophet. So the question now, is Muhammad he or she? Muhammad taking off his shirt. The guy, he said to him, this is not fear. The prophet, he poked him under his ribs with his stick. Dig, 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 he's tickling him. And then the guy said to him, you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet, then he raised his shirt. And then the man embraced him. And he began to kiss his side. Who is kissing who? You will say to me, oh, the man is kissing the side of the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> the word kashah is the down of the belly, not the side. And why a man even kissing there? And then he starts saying, Oh, Prophet, this is what I wanted. Oh, Prophet. <laughs> My religion is dead, my friend. Even your Quran says, and judgment time will, will not come until all they believe in him, who the Messiah. It is your religion who is dead. This is why you want to kill those who preach the gospel, because you're afraid, because you're terrified. And your prophet is dead. How you can have a religion anyway? My Christ, my Lord, is alive. Your religion is dead, and your prophet too. And I can show you the hadith how he stink. The Muslim did not bury him for three days, three nights. They think that he is the same as Jesus. Because he lied to them. He says, we prophet promised by Allah that our body will not decay. And then the poor Muslims, they believed him. So they did not bury him for three days. He said to them, pray, send your salat to me, for your salat will be presented in front of me. They said to him, prophet, but you will be dead. You will decay. He said, no, no. We prophet our body don't decay. And then the reference says that the prophet which means that his belly full of fart, full of gas. You know, when a person he die and you don't clean him and he have a food, he you know, the food will start digesting. The digestion keep going, even if he's dead. The bacteria will digest the food. So the, the belly of Muhammad became full of gas, fart. And he starts shooting left and right. So Ibn Abbas says, قَدْ رَبَى بَطْنَهُ إِتْفُنُ صَاحِبَكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ يَأْسَنُ كَمَا يَأْسُنُ الْبَشَرُ Bury your friend, he stink like the human stink. So you are following a stinky prophet according to your books. And we are following the living Messiah according to your book too. And you are talking about who is dead. Weak hadith. This is weak hadith? Uh -huh. uh, okay, it's weak hadith. That's it. I don't know. As I know that weak hadith is a weak argument according to the Sheikh Hamza. <laughs> you know, when the Muslim, they say, by the way, weak hadith, they are saying to us that we Muslim will lie about our prophet and we put a lot of lies in our book. We are a bunch of liars. We lie about Muhammad. Don't believe in what we say to you in our books because we lie all the time. That's what they mean. They're trying to say to you, this is a lie. Okay, but who wrote the lie? Muslims. Who printed the lie? Muslims. Who accepted the lies? Muslims. So if it's a lie, why is there? Muslims. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, anything is embarrassment to Islam, they say it's a lie. It's a lie, brother. Uh, hey, Abdul, first of all, I thought Salat should go to, the, to God. Why your Salat will be given to Muhammad? Is he God? Look, you pray now, your prayer is not going to Allah. It's going to Muhammad in the grave. Brother, is that true? And by the way, just to show you the stupidity of this cult.
read carefully and this is Sahih Hadith I mean have you ever heard of religion and followers their prophet said to them don't write the Hadith and then they write down don't write the Hadith <laughs> read carefully the prophet said who Allah Messenger said don't take down don't write down anything from me and he who took down anything from me except the Quran he should efface it efface that narrator from me okay and then you write this the guy he just said to you don't write what I say only Quran and then they write the prophet said don't write what we say <laughs> He just said to you, don't write it down. Don't write down what I say. And what do you do? You say, you write down, the prophet says, don't write down what I say. <laughs> so all the hadith, according to Muhammad, should not be written. Do you know why? Because Muhammad, people, they start reminding him of what he said. He, he cannot repeat the same lie twice correctly. In the first lie, he said four. In the second lie, he said ten. In the th third lie, the same story, but he cannot repeat the same story twice. Hey, Prophet, which is the story you, which floor you used to live in? At the third floor. A prophet, but last week you said you are on the tenth floor. Um, okay. Uh, from now on, don't write down what I say, okay? So all the book of Hadith should not be written then. And this is Sahih. <clears throat> uh, according to the direction of his camel. Well, my friend, the Muslim, they will say to you, well, he's praying, it doesn't matter, you know, because the Quran says, whatever you will put your face, you know, it's not worth it for me. Hit, hit the head of the snake. Don't waste your time. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Now listen to me. Don't download my videos. And then I, by the time I finish my speech, I will find like a hundred of you downloaded the video and they will make the title. Great Empress, he said, don't download the video, okay? <laughs> this is so beautiful genius this is the proof that following Muhammad make you genius so all those books behind those Abdul's is a joke your prophet forbidding you from and they say to you we are Muslim Sunni following the following the order of the prophet no you don't and you know what thank God you did not because all the garbage about Muhammad is here so if we have only the Quran, the Quran is a very confusing, stupid book. There's nothing in the Quran. Like flying carpet. Solomon, he, he heard the ant. And the ant, she said to her friends, Hey ants, hide, otherwise Solomon will kill you. What is killing me, I mean, how the ant, she knew the name of the King Solomon. I mean, you know what? You have to, you got to respect the ants. I mean, how in the world she is an ant, but she knew the name of the King Solomon. You see how famous this guy was? And there's no social media at that time, brother. How she knew his name? I, it's very amazing. I feel like converting to Islam now. When Solomon, he arrived to the valley of the ants. Is that in California? Huh? Where, where is the where is the valley of the ants? Is that in California? As I know, there's ants everywhere, but look like the ants they have their own territory and the state, the valley of the ants. Till when they come into the valley of the ants, one of the ants. Look at the details. Look, one of the ants, not all the ants, just one. 
one only. They have only one ant in charge of alarm. Like, da -da 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 alarm, alarm, alarm. As I know, they have the, the, the colony, each colony, they have thousands of ants for alarm. One of the ants, she said. What about the rest? They were asleep. Oh, ants, enter your dwelling. And I saw some videos, hilarious. They say in Arabic, it says Namla. And science discover that the word Namla, sorry, the, the, the one who in charge of alarm is a female. And Namla is a female. So how Allah knew this, you idiot. In Arabic, we say female for all those insects, regardless if they have balls or not. So when there are many, we call them Namla. When it is one, we say Namla, idiot. We don't check the balls of the ants. Hashara. Insect, it's a female. Any individual, we add T to it. Idiot. But anyway, this is a good story, brother. Here you learn history. And uh, Darwin, he should start from here. The, the, the idiot Darwin. The ant, she said to the other ant. And look how, um, what we learn from this story. And then Suleiman. Suleiman. He smiled. <laughs> At her speech, the ant, she made a speech. As I know, the ant don't talk. They communicate, yes. I mean, we can say they talk, but they don't talk, read a speech. They communicate by vibration and chemical. That's it. And the funny that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. And yet he understand the language of the ants. <whistles> hmm. And then Suleiman he went. Uh, what am I change the topic? But just to show you a cartoon before we finish. For how long we are here now? Two hours. Me no. Two hours, one hour. How many hours we are here? Two hours and twenty-nine. Okay, still short, still short. <laughs> good news, good news. This is a short video of a conference. Alhamdulillah, 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 brother. Alhamdulillah, li Alhamdulillah. Genius. So, my friends, my brothers, my sisters. Islam is a joke and there's no question about that and as you see we challenge them to tell us what Allah mean and none of them can tell us they are saying to us this is a word diverted from something else so how you say this is a name of God how you say this is a name then you don't know who is their God or what they know that Allah have two hands in the right side of his shoulder he have a shin. He have a face. He have eyes. But don't ask more questions. They don't know who they are worshipping. How Allah look like? Maybe we should make our coming video about this topic. How Allah look like? Okay, uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah Azzawajal, grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azzawajal allow you to see Allah. And by the way, this is a serious uh, program now because usually Islamic program the question is very silly. Like, brother, is it okay if I eat ice cream with my fiance or she became my sister if we drink the same, if we eat the same ice cream? <laughs> or other caller, she would say, brother, is it okay to shave my underarm? I'm a female and I am 17. Mm -hmm. This is life on air. Or you might find a woman, she is horny. Say, when I take off, listen to this. Once a Muslim woman, she called a sheikh. Live on TV. I wish at that time I have a program to record it. Uh, she said, Assalamu alaikum, you know, and th there's two shakes. And the women, she is like making some noises which she don't want to hear. 
and the sheikh just starts sweating. Brother, when I take off my clothes in the front of the uh, fish tank, the fish they start shaking. What? The fish in the fish tank they are shaking. What? What? The sheikh he drank the water. I'm not going to make the, the voice of the women because you know what I'm talking about. Obviously, she is not a good person. I mean, I don't know. She is making fun of them. I have no idea. So the sheikh he drank the water. The other one is sweating. He says, "Sister, <clears throat> I think a sister, you have to from now on don't take off your clothes in front of the fish tank because the the fish are looking at your beautiful pure uh, body." And they have a genie, genie in the fish. It's true. The Muslim believe in that. So there's a genie inside the fish. Is a male genie. When this female she take off her panty or her clothes, like she go crazy. You know, like you know. So please don't take off. And then she said to them, the, the woman, uh, I cannot tell you. Sorry, I cannot do that because I have only one room. Oh, the guy that he starts sweating more now. He said, Okay, sister, don't you have a blanket? Come on, the fish tank by the blanket. I mean, look how serious the topic is. At least here they are talking about how Allah look like. But usually, usually, the conversation is so low. Very low. Okay, tell us more about Allah. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see. And like, yeah, he is the creator of all what I see. That's it. It's proven. Exactly. That's why he says the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and women have a sperm coming from their ribs. What you do not see and he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. He, that's subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him what... Hold on, hold on. There's a guy, his name is Mimi. He said, who said so? <laughs> and there's a guy in the comment, he says, I wish to see you debating Mimi so he can end your career. Abdul, we end his career a long time ago. The tits boy. Mr. Tits. Prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands. Two hands. So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah al qalam that on the day of judgment allah azza wa jal would uplift and show his leg you know what I, I have to i have to admit i have a i have a weakness when it's come to legs but i wonder if the god he will show his leg Which leg is going to be more beautiful, a leg of women or the leg of Allah? As long as the Muslim they keep calling him he, I'm telling you from now, I prefer to see a leg of a woman. I mean, like, come on, it is he. So, why in the world Allah is showing us his leg? Do any Muslim have an idea? It is he. Anyone? So it is he. And he is going to show us his leg. I can't imagine how the legs of Allah look like, but I, I got the picture. So Allah have two hands, for sure is not spider because spider don't have two hands. Allah have five fingers, for sure is not spider. Spider have no fingers. Allah have a shin, uh, spider he have many shin. Hmm. So who is Allah? Who is this God you worship? You are confused about his name. You are confused about his look. Okay, he have two hands. Where are they? And when you say he have hands, why he need them? You see, Jesus come to this earth as a man. Okay, he is, you know, between us as a man. So he do what men do. He have hands. He grab with them things. Okay. Allah have hands for what? You see, 
The Muslim, they say to us, the Quran says, if Allah wants something to happen, they say, be and it's going to be. So what the hands for? Is this metaphorical? No. The guy is saying clearly, those are not metaphorical. He have two hands. So maybe we should make the second video after this. Or maybe I'm trying, you know what, I'm thinking to make it like a series about what this mean, what this, like, maybe next video I will make, what Israel mean? Hey Muslims, what Israel mean? <laughs> the Quran keeps saying Israel, Israel. By the way, look at this spider. I'm confused, which one is this eyes? You have four eyes, this guy? Like, what the heck? What happened to you, Gali? Huh? Let us ask Joe Biden what happened to the spider. Hey, Joe Biden, President, what happened to the spider? You know the thing? Oh, okay. I mean, look how short the answer and how sharp. That is Muhammad. You know the thing. Allah knows best. So, Allah have hands, Allah have legs, Allah have a shin, and Allah will show his shin. Why? Like, what is the occasion exactly? Strap these days? The day of stripping? Why Allah want to show his shame? And look, and look how excited he is to describe for you how Allah look like. In Surah Al-Qalam, that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would <coughs> uplift and show his leg. And they are called to prostrate, and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites all the believers would prostrate and the hypocrites only the hypocrite brother only the hypocrite they will not prostrate do you prostrate to Allah no I don't you are a hypocrite this will try to prostrate and their back goes one <sighs> my back feel one piece to be honest with you mm. okay peace and they will be thrown into hell <laughs> Allah tells us about himself subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has an eye the prophet tells us that the prophet he have an eye one eye or how many eyes and look what Allah has an eye. I mean, do you see how much they knew about their God? Allah has an eye. Do Allah close his eye? Do Allah sleep? Maybe Allah is like a legator. He never closes his eyes. Okay. Has that Allah Azza wa Jal has fingers when He says, Oh Allah, the hearts are between two of your fingers, you flip them as you wish. Oh. Between two of your fingers, how many He have? So, this is what you know about your God, He has fingers. Please answer me, please. Is the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud where some of us looking men rode him all night, even he is recited a true? I'm not sure what he mean. Looking what? Looking men rode him? I don't know. I don't understand my, your, your question, Ben Yahudi. Your English is like mine, my friend. It's messed up, you know. I could not get it or maybe because my English is not good I could not get your question what do you mean so I just see the Muslims they have no idea what they are worshiping you know they are guessing Allah have you know they look here and what Muhammad said there's two hands there's five fingers you know he have a shin uh, his magnificent beautiful leg actually this is one of my favorite videos when the guy says Allah have magnificent beautiful leg shin
Let us see. This guy, he added the music to the video. He's, you know, he destroyed it. Don't add those some music for those videos. It doesn't make sense anyway. Let us see this one here. <laughs> Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, the Prophet's companion said, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu once said, the meaning of the saying, the Prophet, Allah's hand is ever full. Now he used the word, Yadullah Mil'ah. Now why do the translation here, we use the word hands? Because Allah also yeah, talk about himself. Yadullah uh, Pauka Aidihim. The hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. <laughs> don't imagine, brother. Brother, don't imagine. Stop. You cannot imagine. Allah have a hand. But how the hands of Allah look like? Don't imagine. It's haram. And there's a guy saying that Christian prince is destroyed. My friend, all of you, you destroy me, as you see. <laughs> but none of you dare to call me. I mean, do you see how easy to destroy Christian prince, making videos about him? But where is the ones who can call me and show me that? I, here we go. I have I have 1,400 people listening, and none of you. Let me open my palto. Even though I was planning to go soon. But I will give you an extension time. So maybe you can get me busted, brother. I will open my pal talk for any decent Muslims who can destroy me. Who want to do that? Mayday, mayday. Destruction time. But the heroes, they make videos in, about me. Okay, this is my, for my good because all of you Muslims come to me because Muslims keep talking about me, but nobody dare to debate me. But all of you can destroy me for sure. I mean, you are the winner always. Here we go. I'm logging in my pal talk now. Huh? Bingo, I am in pal talk. Who is the Muslim feel like destroying me? <coughs> uh, can I join you? No. Guys, only Muslims, please uh, text me. Only if you are a Muslim. Uh, Bluebird, my friend is a Muslim. He want to call me. Let him call me. You know, let him text me. Text me first because you cannot call me rightly, right away. Text me first and I will call you immediately if you are a Muslim only. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me and tell us what his thought about what we just said about Allah. Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He would have a golden chance, opportunity to destroy me in front of 1400 people watching. Anyone? My pal talk is open. Just text me and I will call you immediately. In the speed of Allah. Speed of Allah, that's not good. It take Allah 50,000 years, 1,000 years to send the angels and 1,000 years to come back. So how Muhammad was receiving the messages if take them 2,000 years to go back and go up, up down? Hmm. Any Muslim? Yeah, we have 1400 people watching but we have only 950 like you hate me don't you <laughs> who is a Mohammedan would like to give me a call see if I am a person who have a blue eyes American you remember the guy from the Philippines says I debated a real American you are not real American like he's supposed to like he debated real American man 
real American. I mean, look at something carefully. He debated a real American. You are not real American. You have an accent. That's what he said to me. And actually, this is why they are afraid to debate me because I have an accent. I am an Arab. I speak Arabic. <laughs> you are, I debated real American. Like, what? Real American. What what this have to do with what? So my pal talk is open. <clears throat> Let me see, I have one text. No, this is not a text. Oh, any Muslim? Just text me. Just say I'm a Muslim, I will call you. Um, nobody until now there's nobody sadly honestly guys if you have any Muslim sheikh especially sheikh with the long beard if you can ask them to come and join us I will speak to them nicely with respect you know you know we speak to the person uh, depend on what he deserves. If he is a rude, if you know, if you want to be filthy, you know, this is your business. But people who they are respectful, we will speak to them in a better, even respect. Uh, I am a Christian, and but I want to tell you that your God, uh, you that God is not a sexual being, so he does not have specific gender. But I do agree that when he come to the earth, he come uh, the form of the sun. Genius. Okay, thank you. We did not say that God have a gender. This is not what we say. When we believe that Jesus is the son of God, we don't believe that God the Father have sex. So don't be silly. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone who is a Muslim would like to give me a text and I will call you immediately. Anyone? And you know, if you don't want to talk about the topic we are talking about, feel free. Anything about Islam, Muhammad, who want to call us to tell us how Muhammad is a prophet of God? Who want to do that? Who is a true believer? He believes Muhammad is a prophet. And he can share with us what make him a prophet and what make Allah God. Anyone? Choose whatever you want topic about your religion. I will be happy. Who is this Allah? Do you Muslims know? You know all what you say to us, he's the creator. Well, all religion they say that the God they worship is the creator. Do you have a proof that Allah is really the creator, the real creator? Because there's many that claim that creation belongs to them, you know. Do you Muslims have any proof of such a thing? Because talk is cheap. Proving it is something wrong and different, you know? Anyone? They claim they are the da, e, e, da, e, I don't understand. E, be that, e, by that. I don't know what you mean. Sometimes I feel better about my English when I see some other English. So do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? And I will speak to you nicely as usual. Unless you are rude, you want to try. You try to put me down as a person, trust me. I will unleash the Middle Eastern inside me. You know, I am a Middle Eastern. Don't go there. You want to be nice, I will be nicer than you. You want to be rude? Eh, 
give it a try. Hmm? Any Muslims? Who is a person who have a beard, big beard? I like big beard, you know, big beard, doing very nice, you know. I have a big beard too. You know, we can put it next to each other, see like which beard is longer. And the longer one, we can use it as a towel. Because your beard doesn't make any difference anyway. I mean, you grow, you grow up, all of them, they grow a beard. Zach and Nick is trying to grow a beard, by the way, but it's not growing. He used fertilizer, it's still not working. Do you have time to teach us what the Quran means by any created? No problem. Let us make a question to the Muslims. Hey Muslims, what do you what do what do you Muslims mean when you say the Quran is not created? As you see, there's somebody here is interested to know what you Muslims mean when you say the Quran is not created. Let us put your question for you on the screen. Thank you for the question. So now we are done with the topic and those who want to download the video please feel free to cut that part where you know we speak about Allah who is Allah etc and now let us go here and this is the question for Muslims you see the second you ask such a question to the Muslims Muslims are so good to ask them questions like can we eat ice cream is it halal those are everybody volunteer to answer them is curry halal made by the Hindus Brother, what is the Hindu curry, brother? The curry made by the Hindu is halal. Like, what? It's a curry. Brother, is it okay to sit in the toilet seat and the toilet seat is facing the Kaaba? No, brother, haram. So all those silly questions, they are so good in answer them. The second you ask here is a question, they are not there. So now the question is, this is a very serious question. What the Muslims mean when they say the Quran is uncreated? Any Muslim can tell us? Because by saying that the Quran is any created, now we have Allah according to Muslims is not under not created, right? What make Allah divine according to Muslims? Because He is not created. That's wonderful. Quran is not created, not even by Allah. So it's created by who? Never been created. So we have to divine. Hmm. Anyone? You see, I'm, I'm giving you Muslims the question so you can help us. There's a sheikh. He claimed the Quran is a created. Do you know what they did to him? The caliphate, he brought him in the day of Eid. He tied him up in the mosque and he slaughtered him. He said, today we are not going to sacrifice a sheep. We are going to sacrifice this man. What is his crime? Because he said, the Quran is a created. <clears throat> so, if the Quran is not a created, and Allah is not a created, so now we have to divine. How that can be? Anyone? Do we have any Indonesian Ustad? There was, you know, I missed this guy. Too bad he died. You know, the guy who promised me 5 BMW. I really, I wish they did not die because I wanted to save his soul. This poor man, he will go to hell following Muhammad. He promised me 5 BMW. TP. What's his name? What's his name? I forgot his name. What's his name? Ustaz what? Insane? Insane. Yeah, Ustaz Insane. Hmm. Insan, Insan, sorry, Insan. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm getting pal talk. We can set up a talk. No problem. Are you a Muslim? Mr. Past uh, Preston. Only Muslims, they can contact me. Remember, don't contact me if you are a Christian. And those Christians who contact me in Patreon, please don't contact me unless it is necessarily. Remember, I have tons of people they keep, you know, I mean, you can, I, I really would love to give you all the time I can. But for me, I prefer to answer the questions, ask in public, so everybody get the benefit of the answer, not one individual. And I'm not good in writing emails. It takes too much time while answering you here, as you see, I'm giving you all the time. I mean, how, how many hours you want? Have you ever heard of somebody stay for you, with you for five hours nonstop until his voice is gone? I used to stay even 12 hours. Any Muslim? <clears throat> okay, until now we don't have any Muslim, sadly. And too bad. We wanted, we wanted you to give your voice to those audience, so people they can hear the other side of the story. You know, it's not good to hear one side of the story, right? But I assure you that the Muslim story is not even a side of the story. It's a fiction. They don't know what they are talking about. I never saw a Muslim he knew what he's talking about. Never. No, Malik, sorry. Only Muslims can call us. As you said, as I said, we don't want to do what the Muslims do. Two Christians talking about Islam, you know, you know talking. No, we want, um, I, I am the Christian, he is the Muslim, listen to it, that's it. Two Christians does not make any better, you know. We do not need an interview conversation. We do not, I don't like those things. This is why I don't even join other Christian programs. They invite me, I say, sorry, I like to do my work alone. I want a Muslim to call me. A Muslim who can prove me wrong. You can try. I welcome you to try. <clears throat> okay. Look like we have a Muslim. My friend, I tried to call you. It says you are not online. I don't know why. The one you call yourself Kelly. If you hear me, Okay, so look like we have a Muslim. Let us see. <coughs> Invite your friends. We have a Muslim who want to join us. I hope he is knowledgeable. <coughs> and he said he want to speak in like with respect, so that's wonderful. Why I don't debate Zach and Egg? Who said I don't? Let him give me give me his I will call him. <laughs> answer my friend, answer me. Hello? Hello man, how are you? I'm fine. Who was talking to us? Just one second, bear with me. I'm trying to set up my, uh, my things around here. All right. Since no one wanted to talk, I wanted to get up and really have a discussion with you, respectful, of course. That's nice, my friend. You are welcome. And you are a Muslim, right? Sorry? You are a Muslim, correct? Basically, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pendling and I really want to talk about you about a lot of things. Um, no, no, I want a clear answer. Are you, I, are, you, are you a Muslim or not? At this point, I'm pendling, but I really need some answers. You know, I really need to talk out so, my mind and see where we can okay. agree and where we can okay. disagree. So you are a Muslim? If, if that's all right for you, but if, if that's not all right, I can just get no, off. No, 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 for, no, for me, I want to know. I'm talking to who? So you are a Muslim, yes or no? 
pendling. That means basically doubt is creeping up. Oh, you have a doubt about Islam? Okay, you're welcome. Go ahead. What do you want to say to me? Uh, hold on. Let me let me let me get up my shit because uh, <coughs> this is this is a really interesting point because I, my my background is Muslim family and all that, and I really had hard time uh, throughout my childhood trying to describe the things with logic and with truth, with with uh, what what you can call it, transparency. But right. there's a lack of all of those things. In, in the religion, so I mean, I'm, I'm I'm really trying to find out why it is as it is, you know. All right. Well, I would be happy to help you, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to me? Basically, um, once once you speak about Allah and, um, and basically who He is as as no, I wouldn't say a person, but as a creator, you come up with um, with writings from the Hadith and from the Quran uh, of. Uh, uh, approximately how it, how it is. So what I what I really want to know is like, like what, when when you discuss this topic with Muslims, uh, hard believers, and they would be saying like uh, you have no right to think about him, you have no right to, to imagine him because even that is uh, haram. It's it's uh, not allowed. And so I'm stuck between this barrier, not really uh, having to imagine someone. I put my whole life into believing and think that could save me um, based on the belief on uh, there's being um, hell and heaven and and so the same point not being able to um, reconcile with my own thoughts to, to, to see or imagine e even imagine think about this great God that I am supposed to be following okay well first of all who we... is yeah Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, who is this God then? You see, if you go in the Quran, chapter 23, verse number 14, this is a verse supposed to present how Allah he created us as a human. So it said, he said, he, he fashioned the drop of a clot, and then he fashioned it into a, a dead blood. Here you see right away that this God who claimed to be God, the creator, he don't even know how the baby is created because, you know, stating that we are sperm, who become a dead blood and then that dead blood became a baby is a stupid secondly in the verse there depending on the translation you will see it says Allah is the best of the creators so every translation is different some they give correct translation they say the create the best of the creators some they say the best to create but even if they say the best of the create, because if he is the best to create, that's mean there's other creators, but his creation is best, right? And if Allah is the only creator, and this is the only idea yeah. of worshiping Allah, that because he is the creator, so how Allah can be the best of the creators? So Muhammad at that time, he was arguing with those people who believe in other gods and obviously Muhammad he believe in them too but he is saying my God is better than your God so let us worship high God not the lower one because he is the best of the creators so Muhammad through stages in his life he was trying to create a religion he don't have one really he's following what the pagan Arab they do before him their God name is Allah this is what the Quran says. The Arab they are called Mushrikeen because they associate with this Allah other gods. And by Muhammad saying that Allah is the best of the creators, he accepts that they are gods and he is God. But Allah is the best of the gods who create. So obviously Islam is a pagan cult. It's a collection of religion and somebody trying to establish a religion. He don't have one. This is why Muhammad he take you know, Muhammad is confused about what to take and what not to take. So in the beginning, he stopped going and praying toward the Kaaba. I think you know that, correct? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So if the Kaaba is the house of Allah, yeah, why, I can hear. why Muhammad stopped praying to it? Because in the beginning, he was trying to be, with the Christian is a Christian, he's like Obama. With the Christian is a Christian, with the Muslim is a Muslim, with the, with the Jews is a Jew, with the atheist is an atheist. So... Muhammad in the beginning, he abandoned the Arab religion. He copied from it just the name of the God. He don't want to kiss the black stone no more. He don't want to go around the Kaaba no more. 
He don't want to hajj, do, do hajj no more. And then suddenly, when he give up with the Christians and the Jews, that they will not believe in him anyway, he decided to switch his religion and go back to follow the God of the Kaaba and to make the Kaaba a station of worship. And actually, even the Hadith report that the one who made him change the direction of the Kaaba is not Allah. It is Umar ibn al-Khattab. This is why the Hadith says that my Lord agreed uh -huh. with me, my Lord agreed with me in three things. Some they say ten things, some they say five. So one of them is the hijab, one of them is the Kaaba, one of them is divorcing Muhammad wives. And the Hadith says that Allah He sent the, the, the verses as I as as has I, I, I mentioned, as I said. So the verses revealed by Allah is as I said. So what kind of God he take from a man, he is not a prophet, he take from him verses and he make it Quran. Why Allah he take the opinion of a man to change the direction, even the Quran says, like if you ask the Muslims, is the Kaaba is a choice of Allah? They say, yeah, this is the house of Allah. Okay, but look, the Quran says, Allah will give you a direction which you like, you accept. So it was not a choice of Allah, it was a choice of Muhammad. Chapter 2, verse 144, it says, that we see that you are turning your face around. Muhammad did not know which direction he should pray for. So... He prayed to Jerusalem because he was living with the Jews. Then Muhammad, he is, you know, so Muhammad now in the, in the stage, he's trying to make an excuse how I can change the direction of the prayer, go back to the Kaaba. So he gave them this verse. So we see that the turning of the face of you, Muhammad, for guidance to the heaven, now we shall turn thee to the Qibla, Qibla direction, that shall please thee. So Umar, he said to Muhammad, let us change to the direction of the Kaaba. Muhammad, he liked the idea. Muhammad, he made a verse, says, Allah told me to change the direction, and now we pray to the direction of the Kaaba. As you see. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good things you're saying now, but, but the thing is, with, with all of it, it's so contradicting. It's, it's a contradiction on top of contradiction, which really doesn't when you try to cement something as a religion, it will be very shaky. As, as you say, when, when there's a lot of things that contradict, contradict each other, it really doesn't get off as a, as a really steady religion, firstly. And, and, and what, what, I, what I think about that is, is like you, you can make up a lot of arguments about um, uh, what, what is being said in the Hadith or what is saying about the, the Quran. The thing that really troubles my mind is that at, at points when people uh, get to a certain time when they think this is wrong, this is right. And, and so they say, um, well, we condemn this because this is not a part of, uh, part of who we are today. And, 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 so, uh, and so I really be thinking about that and, and, and think about, uh, okay, so you say you condemn this, but uh, the Quran is made for uh, us humans to set a rule for how we can live our lives so we can actually come to a better place after after life and so we'll be thinking about that and, and 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 the first thing that pops up to my mind is of course the, the contradictions and so the second thing is this book has been written for someone to live their life back then and how do we know that um, that based on uh, what you said previously um that he <laughs> he rather don't want want it to be written because he, he talks too much and and when he talks too much it becomes a huge contradiction you see it's not uh, when you, you say what I'm saying? when you say that it was written for people to live at that time no even that is not true let me tell you why i will give you an example if muhammad he made an yeah. order that god he gave him and that fit for that time should muhammad change the order after two weeks or two days he claimed it's coming from god so if it is fit for that time, then Muhammad should not, and the Muslim should not have seen something called abrogation of the Quran. So, as an example, chapter 2, verse 178. 
all who you believe in the law of equality is prescribed for you in the case of murder, free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. People, they start dying laughing at this law. Because what Muhammad said, in the case of murder, if a man, a free man, white man, he killed a white man, the white man would not be killed. We kill his slave. Sorry, if a, if a white man killed a white man, we kill the white man. If a white man killed a slave, slave for a slave, we kill his slave. If a, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a woman, she killed a woman, or if a man killed a woman, we kill his woman. What kind of law this law is? So Muhammad, he implemented such a stupid law. He thought, he thought this is what Moses believed. He thought this is the eye for an eye. So Muhammad the thief, he wanted to practice eye for an eye. And because he is an idiot, he did not know what eye for an eye mean. So he said, okay, if a free man killed, we kill a free man. If a, if a slave man killed, we kill a, kill a slave. But now we will have two victims. The first slave who was killed and the second slave of the one who killed the, the, the slave. And if you go and read the interpretation, you will see that's, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is abrogated. Okay, why Allah, he, this is in the case of murder. Like what happened? Is the murder changed? Why the penalty of murder will be changed in a few weeks? It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a murder. So when Muhammad, he gave this verse, claiming that Allah told him, and he saw the reaction of the people about such a stupid verse, he decided to change it and abrogate it. A clear sign that Muhammad is a fraud. If you go in the Quran, in different verse, it says, Muhammad, he cannot recite the Quran twice correctly. Uh, so Muhammad, he come with the verse saying, if we give you a verse, chapter 2, verse number 106, and the funny, the Muslim in the chat, they are saying, I'm lying, read it in front of you. None of our revelation, chapter 2, verse 106, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten? Okay, why Allah, he just gave a verse, he wanted to be caused to be forgotten. He just gave you the verse. And this is against what Muslims, they say that nobody can, or nobody forgot the Quran, when even the Allah saying, Allah caused you to forget the Quran. So Muhammad here trying to explain why he's forgetting the Quran. And then, but we substitute something better or similar. What kind of God he says such a thing? Allah is going to make Quran better than his Quran? What does that mean? So Muhammad is saying, okay, we forget Quran. We are, you know, I say things I don't, you know, I don't remember. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a liar. And, they, you know, okay, and, uh, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will give me better Quran. Or in the Western area, we will get similar. So why Allah will give you a similar Quran, but he make you forget the Quran, which is similar? Do you see it? I mean, it's in front of you. Did, did God did that to Moses? He says to him, I will cause you to forget the Quran, the, the Torah, and I will make you a similar Torah? <laughs> what does that mean? How this is, can be from God? Obviously it's not. And if you go and read the interpretation of this verse, this is chapter 2, verse 106, you will see the Arab, they were making fun of Muhammad saying, this is Muhammad, he gave his uh, followers, and uh, he enjoyed them an order in the morning, he changed his second morning, I mean, the guy he changed his 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 his, his, his the law in the speed of, of of light. It's not like you see. Uh, let's say like Muhammad came after Moses, uh, you know, a long long time. So there's some change. No, this is the same guy. He go to sleep. He wake up. He have new things. He have a new order. Look at this. Here it says, when the disbelievers began to dried. The matter of abrogation saying that one day Muhammad enjoy his companions to one thing and then the next day he forbid it. <laughs> Are you with me, my friend? Mm. So if this is from God. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. I can hear okay. you. Okay. So let us assume that this is from God. Okay, no problem. So God now he gave him a law. Okay, wonderful. The guy, he in the morning, he gave him a law. He go to sleep, he woke up second day, he says, I forbid it. How that can be true? And look, this is not a Christian saying, this is the Muslim interpretation for the verse. This is their highest scholars. Because I know they will say to you, he's lying. He's lying. It's, I'm, what, I'm, I'm reading for you what is in your Islamic books. And those are your top scholars. So he gave them a law in the morning. He go to sleep. 
He wake up, he forbid it. What Allah make a mistake? Do you know what I think about scholars, the uh, Muslim scholars? Oh, my bad, my bad. Here you go. Uh, who care about the scars, my friend? All of them, they are donkeys for me. I call them scholars. Those are scars for Muslims, not for no, me. No, no, yeah, yeah. But, but what, what, what I'm trying to tell here is basically, what I'm trying to tell here is basically the way, way Muslim scholars are looking at sex is so, in, in that sense, they, they kind of cherry pick something that they think could fit to w what makes sense. And, and so, so that I'm, I'm in the my friend in Islam, in Islam, there's no nothing is called makes sense. Even the Muslim, they don't say like you can go watch Muslim videos. They say the Quran is ir irrational. You know, there's, it doesn't make sense. So he says you cannot you cannot make it make sense. You know, this is how Allah He wanted. That's it. Even the Quran says that there's a, a, a huge part of the Quran nobody knows what Allah meant save Allah. So, oh, what sense? And what makes sense in this? Let us say I want to follow uh, Islam and then. You are a prophet. I'm existing your time, and then you say to me, "It is haram to do this." Second day, you say it's allowed to do this, and the day after, you say it is haram. It's a you know, even the muta Muhammad he forbid it. He allowed it. Then he forbid it. Then he allowed it. Then he forbid it. What's wrong with you? So <coughs> the Arab, they no, the Arab, they notice that this is going to be from God. Like, why God want to give you even a Quran and it will make you forget the Quran? And what is the purpose? To make you, to give you a similar Quran. It's like, <coughs> it's like saying to you, I'm going to burn your house, and then I will burn you the same one. I will build you with the same one. So why you burn it? You know? Your house is like four bedrooms <laughs> and two bathrooms. Yeah. I say, I'm going to destroy your house, and I will make a, a house for you, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. So why you did that? What's what the point? So. Here, Muhammad, he is an idiot. He is a suffering or struggling to make himself look like a prophet. So he's trying to fix his mistakes by changing what he gave them yesterday. He's trying to fix it. There's no way that Allah, if he's God, he would do that. So my friend, I invite you to leave Islam right now. What do you think? You know what I've what what I've been thinking about this is that that the con uh, the the contradictions about the Islam and, and basically as as I've picked up since I've um, my, my 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 exams I've been I've been doing a lot of uh, because I still not finished with my, uh, my this is my last semester so I'm I'm finishing up and I've been um, I had some presentations about uh, about um, fairy tale and 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 uh, this one guy. Uh, this, this one researcher that I don't remember his name right now, he managed to get out all the rules for how you can make a fairy tale. And this is what's interesting about that. It's, it's that how you can tell it in such a way that you can leave it as um, it was a time that you can't question the time before. And also make up the rules that it's similar. It's similar to um, to fantasy, and at the same time, hold someone around the neck long enough so they don't leave. And so that you you never hear about uh, a Muslim becomes ex-Muslim. You hear only a Muslim goes missing. That's the hard thing about leaving it, you know. Because no, no, no. You're so you see, no, this is, no, 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 no. This is and the, the truth. sad truth is, but, no, my friend, my friend, you're born in it. It's no, no, like, no, no. What, what Imagine if I was born a Jew, no, would I become a Muslim? You are wrong. I would say a Jew. Yeah, let me tell you, you are wrong. If you go in history, you will see the second the day Muhammad he died, there's tens of thousands of Muslims left Islam immediately. This is why it's called the War of Apostate. So Muhammad was not able to put them and force them to be a Muslim unless the sword is there. And this is the same today. So when you say I, it's hard to see somebody leaving Islam, no, there is a lot of people leaving Islam because Islam is gang. People don't go in the street and make videos says I left Islam because they knew the consequence. So you are mistaken in this point and people are leaving and there's a lot of people questioning and they are out of Islam already. But how you can know? I mean, if you are, they ask Ahmadi Najat, he says in Iran, we have zero gays. Oh, no, that's possible. They have, they have zero. They have not, zero. Yeah. Listen, listen. They have zero gay in Islam, in, in Iran. They have zero 
atheist in Islam, I mean, in Iran. They have zero gay in Saudi Arabia. They have zero atheist in Saudi Arabia. Exactly. They have, they have zero Hindu in Saudi Arabia. They have zero Christian in Saudi Arabia. Why? Because nobody have a freedom. So it's not because they are so of it, but because there's no freedom to know who is a believer or not. Everybody is forced to say he's a believer. Even the Quran says that those who convert to Islam, they are liars. You know, when the Arab they says we believe, Muhammad said to them, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims, Aslamna. Okay, so uh, you are not soaked into it. It's a choice you make. And today we are in the world of the Internet. And you, uh, you know, you can do a lot of things. You can change things. I understand if you live in a Muslim country, it is not easy. You have to hide it. Otherwise, they will do something to you. But I believe things is changing so fast. All right. Uh, in chapter 49, yeah, but the, the, the only thing, yeah, my bad. Chapter 49, verse number 14. When the Arab they say, We, yeah, just, just go. we surrender yeah. to Islam, Muhammad said to them, Allah said to them, Don't say we don't say we are we are believers, say we surrender to Allah, we are Muslims. So don't say we believers, say we are Muslims. Imagine, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. <laughs> I mean, even their book saying that they don't believe, but they are Muslims. Allah telling them to call themselves Muslims, but not to call themselves believers. And here you see that this religion of hypocrisy, what Muhammad want is people to surrender by the sword, not to, who don't care about you believe or not. Surrender, join my army, attack with me, I will give you bounty. Kill with me, not kill for me, not killing me. That's what he want. So he was establishing a gang, and the gang have a title. It's called Allah and the Prophet. Whoever fight under that gang, he get a booty. He got money. He got shares. That is Islam. And this is why Islam grow, because those who don't have a job, those who have suffering, let us attack other nations. The Roman are rich. That's why Muhammad said to them, attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. He was tempting them by the women and by the money. So my friend, again, I don't want to repeat my question because either you are convinced or you are not. Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? Are you with me? Hello? Hello. Okay, or maybe we lost him. Maybe he don't want to say. I don't know. Maybe he's scared to say I'm out of Islam. This is your business. I don't want to force you to say it in public. You hear me now? Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, okay. I lost. I, I lost you for some reason. So, yeah. So, my friend, why, sorry, why you don't say? Not. Why you don't say I am out of Islam? I mean, after all of this, do you still really want to say I'm a Muslim? Hello. We lost you again. The last thirty seconds, I can hear you. Okay, so what what is your decision, my friend, about Islam? What do you think? To be honest, I deep down I want to be free, and and so I am. I am physically free, but it is a huge, huge psychological trap which you are born in, and and so I want to be free, and 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 the only way I can be free is truly by exposing myself to something it's in that point i would disagree on heavily and i will look into it and something i agree with so it confronts each other and so i can progress it's just how it is like humans have uh, psychologically speaking humans have a uh, uh, high incentive to not be willing to lose something instead of gaining something because psychologically speaking if you lose something it's game over it's death and no, so see, I, I, you see, I don't know. I don't know how you think, but I don't think I'm losing anything because simply it's a belief, and it is. I'm not, I'm not talking about. Yeah, if the belief is a stupid, I'm not losing a stupid. I'm about my freedom. 
Oh, I know. No, you are not. You, not my freedom. You are not losing your freedom if you leave Islam. You are gaining your freedom because Islam make you even to go to the bathroom. There's rules. Even to the way you you know you eat here, there's rules. Exactly. You know. So when you leave Islam, you are gaining freedom. Exactly. You are not losing freedom. Islam control you. Islam is a controlling cult, and Muhammad he created tons of controlling rules. So you will not be busy thinking. It's what I say too. It's what I say yeah. too. Yeah. So again, I'm going to ask you. Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? I'm not going to repeat this question again. Oh yeah, no, I'm not conflicting in, in, in any way like with, with, with your I, question. Not, oh, I'm asking you now, why you don't say, why am, you don't want I to leave, my friend? Else. You want to leave or not? You want to leave Islam or not? And, and my philosophy, Abdul. Huh? So, sorry, my, uh, let, let, me, let me get to this one thing. My philosophy... My friend, don't tell me about your philosophy. My friend, my friend, I, 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 your philosophy is your philosophy. The religion I, I'm, here, I, I'm here to help you to get understanding of what is right, what is wrong. So, like because based on what we said, based on what we said, not in philosophy or philosophy or my philosophy, based on what we said and the proof we, we provide, is Islam is from God or it's false? I want an answer from you. Is it from God or false? From what you've been providing, I wouldn't really necessarily go out and say, "Hey, God is real." Basically. This is not the question. Is Islam is, is, is Islam from, uh, this from is, your this point? Is, I wouldn't say God is real. And again, here, here's here's the thing. Okay, my friend, I'm, you know, I was, you are wasting my time. Sorry. You're always, you're, no, 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 no. You see, I don't want to hear talk about philosophy. You don't want to say no problem. Just keep it, uh, you know, in your pocket. You know, say what you what you want to say. Because obviously, I mean, you are scared to say, well, this is garbage. I mean, you agree with me, but you don't want to say it. We got the answer already. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Do we have any Muhammadan who would like to call us? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like uh, too much liquidation in the answers. Either yes or no. So you agree Muhammad obviously is a liar. You agree the Quran is full of contradiction. You agree it doesn't make sense. But still you don't want to say I'm out of Islam. Yeah. Already you did. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to come and call us? We have a Muslim question here. I'm going to answer it. I am a Muslim too, and I heard the strange things about Yajuj and Majuj. That there are billions of people live, living, I think he want to say, living uh, between a wall or mountains. Can you explain? My friend, your prophet, he said, as long as you are a Muslim, so I have to say your, your prophet, he says, that each one of the Gog and Magog, before he die, he make a thousand equal to us. So from every human, there's one thousand of Gog and Magog. So if we are seven billions, then there is seven trillions from Gog and Magog. And Gog and Magog are not even human. They look weird to the point a person, he sleep inside his ear. It's like a tent, you know? So you are questioning, okay, where are they, right? They are between, behind the mountain. But all of us, we knew that satellite, they scan all the earth. And what mountains is that where Gog and Magog is hiding behind? And the idea of that those people or those, this creation, they cannot come out of those mountains is a proving that Quran believed that this earth is a flat and those mountains are separating the earth. So we have, because even if I have a mountain, I can go from different direction and I can cross to the other side. What, I mean, what does that mean? So what if there's a mountain? Let's say uh, between me and you and the Himalaya. Is that the only way for me to go to India is to go through the Himalaya? You know what I mean? So Muhammad, he made it so clear. In the same time, again, he copied a fiction story he made a story about it 
even in his time he says that Allah he okay you know he said look at this false prophecy this is Sahih Bukhari Muhammad he wake up and he says a we to the Arab okay what happened to the Arab what happened he says to thee today a hole has been opened in the dam of Gog and Magog like this He's scared, he's terrified. Arab, get ready, they are coming to you. And the prophet, he made a circle with his index. So a circle like this, is it scaring the hell of you? Do you see it? So Muhammad, he made the prophecy that the Gog and Magog, they are coming in his time. And this is a sign of judgment day. And where are they? Another stupid fiction story. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything about this story? Anyone? All those stories are very funny and very stupid. And those people, they will fight with their arrows. And those people, they will attack everybody. They will control the earth. The earth. I mean, what is what he's talking about? Where are they? Look how many. Look how many hadith. All of this. Just you search Gog and Magog in the in the in the website of the Muslims. You will find endless number of stories about Gog and Magog. Well, he is scared for his life. No problem, my friend. I don't want you to say something will hurt will hurt him. But I understand he left Islam. Actually, he's a very nice guy. I'm not against him. But for me, you know, I have I have things to do. Uh, well, here we go. Actually, he said I am out of it already. Yeah, the person is very nice. I mean, I'm not I'm not against him. But you know, for me, I like to see the the result of the fruits of my work. Either I was be able to help him or not. I'm not going to show what his name in Bell Talk, but this is what he said to me. Thanks for what you provide, whatever. I am out. I was about to briefly sum up. All right. So thank you very much for your answer. You want to call me again to say loud, clear, I am out of Islam so people hear you? Feel free. This is what I wanted to hear from you, you know. So he's out of Islam. I'm happy for him. Yeah. Here you will see, look, Muhammad, he said here in this hadith. He's talking about Gog and Magog. Hello? Hello? I am out of Islam. Like, it's nothing that can take up more of, of my time or my mind capacity. I'm out of it. All right. That's wonderful, my friend. I just I want to hear from you because I don't want to waste your time and my time. You know, I understand the, the way... No, thank you so yeah. much, man. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I I'm grateful for the for the opportunity that you you've granted me this this knowledge. Thank oh, you. Oh no, so I'm much. here. I'm here to serve everybody, my friend. I'm not really, uh, I'm not here to put you down, or even not to speak to you. But in the same time, uh, we have to come to a conclusion as uh, as adult, and the conclusion obviously you agree with me. Islam is false. So I was wondering why you want to say it. So now you I I'm, I'm not supporting that. Yeah, so so you agree that Islam is false, and that's wonderful. Now let me ask you then: What do you think about Christianity? As long as you agree Islam is false, uh, I think more about my philosophy actually about coming coming to what I was about to sum up is coming to this world. I, how I see is just as, as a wave, and what I can do in in, in the ocean as a wave before I get back into the ocean become. A part of everything what, is what is the wave what, 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 the word, the world. what the word wave mean 
it, 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 it's an example. It's, it's how I look to see it. I understand, but when we, when we I, use I an example, wave. when we use an example, we should understand the example. So what the word wave mean? A wave, it's like basically a part of a part of an ocean. It's, it's, it comes up and goes down. It's briefly an explanation of, of, no, the of wave, the ocean and no, the how wave, it the, No, the wave is not really what you are saying. The wave is a reaction of an action. So you throw a rock yeah. on the water and that rock push its size and its weight inside the water and that cause a force to cause a wave. So if you are just a wave... Or a wind. If you are just a wave, which is reflection of an action, then you don't want to be the action yourself. Why don't be the rock itself who can make waves? So if I am you, I say to myself, I'm not going to be the wave. I'm going to be the one who make waves. So I'm going to make a wave between the Muslims and wave of Muslims will leave Islam because Islam is a cult. So there's a huge difference for us to be someone who is reflected or let's say we are a reaction of an action of somebody or we are the action which one is the one is more active the action or the reaction so in the law of physics reaction is let us say it's a victim of the action it's not really the one who is doing things so if i am you i will change the way i see myself in the philosophy way as long as you like philosophy and then i will choose to be the rock who if it jump in the water i will cause the water to make waves and my wave will go to the end of the other side of the world so if i am you i choose to be a wave creator generator so my waves can come to others not just a person who get reflection of others so establish yourself with your philosophy understand yourself first and understand that you are a person who created by god for a reason and that reason is to be you, a person who generate, not a person who reflect. That's why he said to us in the Bible that not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, or God, God, he will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So it is the will of the father, but it is your will too. So either you are a generator or a reflector. Which one you want to be? For me, I choose to be a person who generate I do in agreement with the one I believe in. It's my generation to I generate. So the will of God, I agree with it. So I do the will of God, but still it is my will, even though it is the will of God. So for me, I like you to think in about but things Abdul, differently. Do you, do you also? Hmm. Yeah, Abdul, do you also think that God is so mighty and so that, that He understands? the feelings of us of creatures you know us humans that we that we are under a difficult time my friend and you are not to, out, you, like, god is like not, being the one being the wrong yeah in, in your sense. god is not waiting for you to be a genius he knew what he created of you you are his creation right so he knew exactly each one of us limitation because the limitation of each one of us is different we are not the same so there is some of us we are very limited some of us are smarter. So that's not your fault. So God will judge you based on your limitation and how much gift he gave you. It's like somebody, you know, the Bible have uh, many parables. So I give you some money and says, go and invest this money. So it's not fair that somebody, I gave him $1,000 to invest. And then I want him to bring back, return $1.00. So it should be way more. But if I give other other person 50 cents and then he invested and he make it one dollar, that makes sense that he is a good person because he was able to invest in what I gave him. So God, he knew what he gave you. And God, he will judge you by the gift you receive. He's not going to judge all mankind equally based in rules only, but he will judge them by the equal gift they receive if somebody is born with this ability let us say you know there's many people they they have an illness you know they are born with it is, is it fair that those people they don't believe in jesus they will go to hell no because they don't know even what are you talking about they are born this way so god because he is beautiful he have a beautiful justice too and the beautiful justice of god 
is going to rule not, not the aggression not the, oh yeah not the aggression you know because always people they, they think about God that he is aggressive he is you know he is uh, he will torture us he will God he is loving to you and because he love you he will judge you based in what you receive if you did not receive it at all like what if somebody he live in the jungle of Brazil and never heard about Jesus God will judge those people based in but what God they... only loves us at, at an extent is that right sorry. is that wrong sorry I don't hear you Karen. God only loves us at an extent like why would it be that God loves us so much so highly that he didn't allow us paradise and have to base the of a choice of two people no Even actually my friend like I'm, I'm not trying to jump from a yeah, from no, Islamic I, tree to a Christian tree I'm no, trying no. to get down to the ground no problem my friend God he allow you to stay in heaven it is you who decide to leave because when I invite you to my house and I say to you okay let us say uh, I own an apartment business or a house and I rent it to you and I say please if you bring somebody else to this house to live with you I will kick you out and you agree right so you agree in the terms and the conditions and then you break the terms and the conditions so it is you who decide to leave it's mistakenly to think that God he kicked you out it's you who kicked yourself out because if you did not break the terms really? and conditions of this heaven which he gave you as a gift he loves you to the point he gave you a garden not hell and then you decide to do your own rules as if you own the garden you are just a guest and then you by breaking the rules of the garden you decide to leave so how we can blame God for such a thing well the, the, the thing I think about is like grand grand grandparents that once had uh, went in the apartment and, and, and this landlord is gone kicked them out and so I was born in the streets and so that really doesn't reconcile with me really good my, my friend what did I for us as a christians yeah. for okay. us as a christian i was born here this is my normal no problem you see you can make even your earth a paradise if you want the bible says live be holy like your father so the place is not the problem it is us who is the problem you see adam was in heaven it's not the place was the problem it was him the problem so if we want to make the problem is the location we are just trying to divert our responsibility for what we do it's like when Zach and Nick says well if women she if she wear nice uh, a short skirt will men they will rape her what you expect so he's making it responsibility of the women who is she's the victim not the man to control himself so either we say we want to we don't want to be responsible for being a human and we want to live like animals and then we will not be responsible for anything you know a cat she do what cat do a dog he do what dogs do correct so a human should do what a human do then a human he chose to be a filthy he chose to be perverted he chose to be a criminal he chose to be a thief he chose to be a killer but yet the human have many help many who came to help him says hey don't do this this is wrong even inside your God, he created you with some dignity to feel that this is evil, yet still you do the evil. So if we want to blame God for my evil, that is not fair. For it's not God who told you to be evil, it is you. But always you justify it saying, oh God, he created me. Oh God, he made me. So I'm being what he told me to be. No, you are not. It's just a way okay. to, take off, to, to take away your okay. responsibility. So based on... So based on that statement, would you say I'm closer to God than you are? You being in I don't know what is my, my, my friend. I do not know who is inside you. I don't know how close you are to God. I don't know. This is between you and God. You see, in Christianity, we believe that God is a relationship with the person, not religion. So, for me, I believe that I am close to God when I do His will. I am not when I'm not very simple so the will of God is to believe in the Messiah 
the Messiah who came to save me, if I reject his saving offer to me, I'm rejecting God anyway, and then I believe I'm far away from God. So for you to be closer to God than me, first of all, you need to be a person who believe in such a God, and you believe that you are going to be in a personal relationship with him. And that's why I'm saying to you, what do you think about Christ? So if you want to be close to God, you have to be close to God, to, to God himself, and that is a Christ for me. Maybe you don't believe in Christ, maybe you will not believe, this is your business. But in my opinion, I believe to be close to God is to serve him by serving the people. Jesus, he washed the feet of his disciples. When the disciples, they said to him, Master, Lord, what are you doing? Now, we are the one who should wash your feet. He said, if you don't, if you don't do it, you don't belong to me, I don't know you. So in Christianity, you want to be in heaven? You can be in heaven even if you are on earth. By being a servant, for that make you a master. As long as you like philosophy, how deep we can go more than this. Mm -hmm. To be a master, you have to be a servant. Why? Because Jesus, he wants you to earn your rank as a master by love, not by authority. You know what I mean? And there's a lot, my, my, my thing, my thing is there's a lot of ways to earn a closer, a closer relationship with spirituality or the, or the divine as in, in whatever shape or form you want to conclude that is. I think that the way I can get closer to divine or actually being a part of everything is not to disturb everything a part of everything it's like it damages me it damages me so much to think that there is a virus corona and it adapts it it mutates to actually live longer in the host and so us humans we are just like a virus we are in this planet damaging it we are killing other sentient beings and and, and so my friend my friend killing don't 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 confuse yourself about it like gets you closer to god my friend don't don't, don't don't go there i mean killing and thief why you want to go there anyway i mean it's, it's killing something we do every day there's people that are criminals so let's so let make it simple i just say to you that jesus wants well, you but, but, but let me ask you a question mm. before before we continue mm. abdul abdul one quick question before we continue i'm not abdul all right <laughs> well, what do you eat what do you eat? What I eat? Do you eat meat? Yeah, I eat meat. Yeah, do you eat meat? Yeah. Do you eat something that had a life before? I do. Do you, do you consider that as if, if you cut that out, you'd be closer to, to God? Hmm. So you are trying, like maybe you are copying from some philosophy that about eating vegetation, right? So is, is the eating vegetation will not make you eating something have life, isn't it? Vegetation have life too? So your philosophy here... Life, but it doesn't My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, no, no, my friend, my friend, obviously you are, you are, you, 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 no, your thinking is very shallow. I want you to go right now and search how you can grow mm, tomato, okay. how you can grow tomato so crazy, how they put a fish under the root of the tomato. Okay, but tomato is a tomato, but tomato is eating fish. So you think you're a vegetation person, you are eating vegetables, but the fact that the vegetables you are eating is eating fish. And you think you are a vegetarian and now you are not harming anyone. That is a joke, my friend. People need to think deeply and we are very shallow. No, 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 no. No, no, this is vegetation. Being a, veget a vegetarian is not you not I'm harming. You are harming everyone. If this is what the harm means for you, all what you do is eating others. You are eating others. You are Minimizing eating... harm. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, my friend, we, we don't want to go like in a circle to talk. I mean, yeah, the, there's, there's no point of this, my friend. There's no point. But uh, the idea of not to eat uh, animals because that... Harm and suffering to... No, no, no. no, no. I, I, sorry, sorry. I, I, I have to let you go. I don't want to go there. I mean, this is really far away from my topic. But I know, I understand how people, they, you know, like super spirituality and, you know, this crazy stuff, you know. I eat plant because I don't want to eat uh, harm animals. That is fake. Fake. 
you are, you are faking things for everything eat everything remember carefully this we is saying that you everything eat everything you die they bury you in the ground insect they eat you the insect they die or your flesh they became became a protein to the trees trees they eat like you and they eat flesh like us the trees themselves they are not vegetarian <laughs> people do you understand what I'm saying grass and trees and they are not vegetarian they are they eat meat I really you know I feel sorry for people how they think I mean we should not be shallow in the way we think and now okay I'm going to eat uh, 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 vegetation because that will not make me uh, kill a fish right well the tree is in the creature too you know have a life and they die too and they are they born too and they have seed the same as your sperm and your egg it's a form of life and the trees themselves they eat the flesh they eat dead bodies they flourish actually with them not only they eat them they flourish it's a cycle my friend God he created such a cycle so whatever die is going to be born it's a continue of cycle so you eat the fish you make the fish fertilizer for the tree <laughs> that's why it's called manure <laughs> and then you go and buy manure which which would literally is nothing but poopoo so you go and buy manure which is poopoo which was a fish was in your in your dish a day ago and now it is in your dump a day after and now it's under the tree and the tree she is saying on me all right there's nothing it's called less suffering there's more suffering this is a joke you know because if you don't want anything to suffer then you should not eat anything you should not breathe because the air have bacteria. don't you know that the second you breathe you are breathing bacteria. what will happen to them when they go inside your immune system your immune system will attack them immediately will destroy them you are built in a war zone all your body is a war zone and actually you are dead if you don't have that war zone defense inside you it's a joke my friend this philosophy is not a philosophy it's somebody trying to kill himself kill his time I find it very shallow and it's not real do you understand me inside your body you have an army and the army have weapon and the weapon they're shooting never stop otherwise you will die you are under attack 24 hours, 7 days a week. You yourself, you are under attack. I find that a human being, somehow, he go to school, he earn a degree, he became mature, but still he is lack of maturity. Now, this is my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. You don't have to agree with me. Maybe you are smarter. Maybe. Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe. I don't know. You make decision. God, he gave you a gift, not only me. Do we understand, people? I don't know who like what he's, what I'm saying or don't like. This is your business. You know? But to say that uh, I'm, a, I'm going to eat vegetarian, you know, I can understand if you say it's more healthy, but I don't think so. I mean, they should have a balance in your food. If you eat only veggie, it's not going to be enough for you. You have to get more supplement to cover what is missing. Everything exists for a reason. Too much salt can kill you. No salt kill you. Too much water can drown you. No water, you die. Too much air, you die. No air, you suffocate. There's a balance. God, he created this beautiful heaven Earth can be a heaven, by the way, if we practice one sentence of Jesus. Love your enemy. So don't focus about love your fish. 
That is a silly thing. I love to eat the fish. Otherwise, God, he created the wrong system then. Because he created me not by powering myself by the sun, which is nothing but burning sun. What about we stop the sun from burning, my friend? So stop the suffering. Maybe the sun is suffering now. So God did not create me to function by solar system, even though it's a solar system at the end, because all those trees are taking their energy from the sun. And you yourself, if there's no sun, you die. The whole earth will freeze. So it is a complete system, complete. It's, if one of them is missing, the rest is gone. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Do you only take calls for debate? Yes. Well, this is Yeki, the guy who made a comment. Hold on, let us call him. Ah, it says you have to update your, uh, you use your computer, Yeki. This is the guy who posted a comment. Yekis. Uh, uh, try to text me from your computer, Yekis. So I call you. I try to call you. It doesn't work. It says you need to update. I send you a link. Bad talk send you a link. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? I'm using pal talk. Right? See, the Bible is so clear. Christ, he said, God created Sabbath for the man, not the man for the Sabbath. In the world today, people, they made the Sabbath more important than the man. <laughs> you know, uh, Bill Gates, he want to dim the sun. The owner of Apple, uh, he have different idea. Joe Biden, he have different ideas, but all of them, they are just lying to each other. Because one volcano is more than all the cars in this earth. And the one who control it at the end of the day is God, not you. What they do is a joke. It's not real. It's far from reality. And they try to fool you with those conferences. When, uh, when the scientists, they say that the earth was covered by water, was that because of uh, global warming? But there was no cars at that time. You know what I mean? Look like a global warming was exist long time ago. Yeah, obviously. What you can do. Right? Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim would like to call us? If CP will show his face, you will call. You will call me. And who cares if you call me or not? And why I want to show you my face? Are we uh, are we in a date, uh, Zahra? Is, is that a date thing? Why a girl? She want to call me if I show her my face. Is it okay if I show you my toes? Does it work? No, people are weird, man. You call Allah every day, five times a day, you never saw his face. You never even, even your prophet, he never heard his fault. But you keep calling him, and guess what? He never answer. You know, do you remember when Muhammad, he says, he, the Muslim, they say that Allah, he took Muhammad to heaven? Allah, he took Muhammad to heaven, right? Okay. When Muslim, they, they say uh, Allah took him when? What, the daytime or nighttime?
What night? What time? Is it night or daytime, Muslims? You will see at night time. But isn't it Muhammad, he says, Allah, he come down every night in the third part of the night? So Muhammad, he went to the heaven to meet Allah. But Allah is down. This is how you expose a liar. Muhammad, he forgot what he said. So Allah, he sent him a donkey. is the size of a donkey or between a donkey and a mule. And then he decided to take him to heaven. And then Muhammad, he went up to heaven. But then Muhammad, he says, every night Allah, he come in the third part of the night. So while Muhammad was going to the seven heaven, Allah was coming down. This is how you expose a liar. So Muslims, is, is this story is true? That Muhammad, he went to heaven? While Muhammad, he says, Allah, he come down every third part of the night. It's like, you know, a guy, he called uh, his wife. He say, hey, honey, I'm visiting my friend, Fred. And Fred, he just knocked at the door. Hey, Fred is here. What are you talking about? Are you visiting Fred, huh? This is what happened to Muhammad. Liar. It's very easy to... You see, Islam is the most silly, stupid cult to, to, to defeat. But how you can defeat a cult if you are ignorant about the cult? You cannot. And how the Christian, they can fight such a cult if their priests are ignorant and liars? Like the priests we see, some of them, they're saying that the Muslim worship the same God. How many of them? There's a lot of liars. A lot of liars, my friend. Hmm? This is Islam. This is why if somebody claimed to be a priest, what make him a priest or not is how truthful he is. Who care about the word priest? Who care about the uniform you wear? Who care about the cross you have in your chest? The Lord, he said about them, Depart away from me, I do not know you. I do not know you. Anyone, you see, he claimed to be a Christian priest or bishop. And the Muslims, they say to you, to him, they agree with him. They have nice compliment about him. Obviously, he is not telling the truth. That's why they are giving him compliment, because he's a liar. Do you know who I am? Look who condemned me. If the devil, he said to me, bless you, obviously, I'm serving the devil. So if Muhammad say to me, bless you, Christian Prince, obviously I'm serving Muhammad. From their fruits, you shall know them. We care for Muslims. We don't hate them. We encourage people to be good to them. But that is different from not telling the truth about Islam. Telling the truth about religion is different from being good to people. So we should be good to everyone, including the Muslims, Hindus, atheists, everybody. We should be loving to everybody, as the Bible says. But loving to everybody doesn't mean we are loving the teaching of evil. So when a false priest, he come to you and he say things which is absolutely false. He is a preaching, not the gospel. He is a preaching for shaitan. Do we have any Muslim? Yekis, did you fix your um, thing? Let us try to call you again. Yeah, still the same.
Hey kids, I tried to call you a second time. It's not working. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, Zahra is saying, stop lying. Zahra, do you know that your prophet, he says, women, they will go to hell, and you have half a brain, and because you have menstruation, you will go to hell? This is how your God, Muhammad, he look at you. He call you naqisat wa aqlin wa deen. They ask him why we are half a brain and half religion. He said, don't, don't you have no equal right to be a witness, as the Quran said. He said, yes. He said, don't you, don't fast the month of Ramadan, pray as other Muslims because of your menstruation. They said, yes. He said, this is your deficiency. And this is the hadith in front of you. Muhammad, he claimed that Zahra, who is in the chat there, she have deficiency. So, Zahra, I'm talking to you because I don't believe that you have deficiency, but I think Islam is deficiency itself, and that is affecting your brain. Muhammad claimed that the majority of women, they will go to hell. What is the solution? Give him money. Give donation. Clear evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. Hey, women, give a charity. And then Bilal, he opened his, uh, his address, and women, they start throwing their rings their earrings now they will go to heaven because they give you their earring <laughs> you are Shia who cares if you were Shia or not Quran says that you are half a brain was Allah Shia too have you ever heard of somebody saying that women they have deficiency in their brain and how is that a proof? How we prove it? Because she is not equal to be a witness in the court. Two men are one, two women equal to one man if they ag agree with the women. If there's no men, this is a man-made religion. I remember once a lady. Um, you know, she said to me, "I did not leave Islam because of you. I leave Islam because Islam made by the man for the man." Yes, I mean, you are the one who taught me. Let us see this guy. Uh, yeah, okay, it's still not working. You are using a storing software, obviously. That's why it's not working. <clears throat> I don't care. Anyway, forget about her. So anyway, do we have any Muslim want to say anything before we go? Ah, uh, she's trolling. Eh, okay, she is trolling. What we can do? They like to be trolling. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything to us? So look at this today. I mean, we made a challenge for the Muslims, and the challenge is still open. Who is a Muslim can tell us where is what the word Allah means? They don't know. They have tons of articles. Everyone is guessing. Allah is diverted from the word Ilah. So how you make it a name then? Who told you to make it a name? How it become a name? Are you avoiding Gog and Magog? I, I, I answered you, my friend. I just answered you. What's wrong? You forgot, and even I showed you the hate in the screen. What I want to say to you more, I mean, it's obvious that Muhammad is a fraud. 1,000 of a human being, one person of a human being, equal to him, 1,000 of Gog and Magog. So what I will say to you more, what do we want more? What? What, do I, what I need to do more? You're avoiding my question. I'm not. Obviously, it's a lie. And they are hiding behind the mountain. Where is that? I mean, they have satellites scanning all the earth. You can go right now to Google Earth. You can put an address of somebody. You will find it in two seconds.
This story is a fiction story. You can find it in the Quran, chapter 18. When they say to him, Put for us, make a dam between us and those two, those, those creatures. Stupid story. And the dam is made from what? From iron and copper. By time, it should be demolished anyway. Because don't you know that those metals, they rust? They will be demolished. And between two mountains, can they climb the mountains? What about airplanes? Can they go around the mountain? And you will say to me, now you did not answer me. So all, all the talk I did, still I did not answer you? It's a joke. Chapter 18 is one of the clear evidence that Muhammad is nothing but a fairy tale collector story before stories. He's an idiot. Right? <laughs> I cannot call you for a very simple reason. If you go to Pal Talk Help, it says mostly you are using a stolen software, not validated. This is why you cannot call me. A guy before you, you cannot call me anyway. I have to call you. I tried to call you already twice. And I can show you. Here we go. Let me show you. I called you twice, but obviously, hmm. see it? And let me call you again. It says out call rejected. You see it? Why? And I send you the link so you can have a new software. And let me call you again. Here we go. In front of your eyes. Hero. You are a hero, huh? Yeah, you are a hero. I wish I can get you for a snack. It says now you are not online. You see it? So stop playing hero. All of you are heroes. Trust me, I will not waste a chance to get a Muslim to call me because we need a good laugh. Whatever you say is going to be hilarious. We know what you will say. Okay, we have a Muslim. Answer, my friend, answer. Mm -hmm. Call me and you will not answer. Hello? Mute you too, please. Mute you too. Can you mute you too? Now you have a delay. You know. Hello? Mute you too. call you again I will give you a minute to hear me and I will call you again please mute YouTube all right I will call you after a minute no no yeah yeah kids I want you to call me I cannot I cannot uh, I cannot believe that I will not receive your majesty call you are genius man isn't it you who says to me, are you asking me why Allah, his name is Allah? Allah knows best. You're a genius. I made you famous already. I put your text in the screen. Are you asking Allah why he called himself Allah? Allah knows best. That's what you said. So don't worry. We made you famous already. 
You are the genius of the genius. I mean, who is like you? Nobody. You are one of the kind. Let me see, what is your statement? Uh, oh, here we go. This is Yaki. Just to show you what we are missing. The Arabian Prophet, yes, and the answer Allah knows uh, what uh, Allah means. <laughs> this is the guy who wanna debate me. <laughs> and then he says, I'm not dumb like Christians uh, post the question, uh, God, how he looks or what uh, his name mean. This is dumb, guys, to ask what the, what the name of this God we worship, what his name means. It's dumb. You're being dumb. This is what he said to us. <laughs> genius. So already you debated me, my friend, and you won, obviously. I mean, you are a genius, man. I hope your mom, she don't have too many of you. Hmm. And look what he said here. To question how God, how he look, or what name mean, or how he was born, or what he created us. Allah knows all of this. We'll definitely ask him in Jannah, inshallah. You will ask him in Jannah, inshallah. Gog and Magog in my Bible. Well, Gog and Magog is a location, is not people. You are ignorant. That's why we say Muhammad is a thief. He steals things and he adds some spices to it. Go, here we go. I ch challenge for you. Show me where the story of Gog and Magog in the Bible is speaking about people who hide behind the, behind the mountain. And then you will see that you are silly. It's a location. Idiots. Any, any Mohammedan? Let us call this guy, see if it's going to work. I think this guy here living in Afghanistan, his connection is hilarious. Do we have any Muslim would like to take the opportunity to get me busted? We have a thousand four hundred people watching. Who want to do it? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have a good knowledge of Islam, so he can show us, right? <clears throat> yeah, we know what John's saying. Are you are silly? You are silly like your ex God. Anyone? Mayday, mayday. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Muhammad, he was. He lived as a thief and he died as a thief. He collect from the Jewish tons of his stories. Some of it is true and most of it is a lie. The stories of Gog and Magog is nothing but a legend. And this legend about people hiding behind mountains. And there's Alexander the Great is the one who they ask him to hide them or to keep them behind the mountains. <clears throat> mm. 
Anyone? Zero. We have zero. Interesting. And, you know, I find it very funny when an idiot, he go to a website and they copy, paste, they don't even know what they are copying. They don't even open the verses they are talking about. Like this girl. Did you even read those verses you are quoting for me? You are saying to me it's speaking about Gog and Magog? I'm sure you did not. I don't know what are you talking about. Kids. Silly. Do we have anyone who have the courage and the knowledge to call us? Anyone? Open challenge for the Abdul. Open challenge. Why you don't bust some prophecies? What do you mean some prophecies? We bust the prophet and then we, by busting the prophet Muhammad, we are busting all his prophecy. Correct? <clears throat> you cut me lying? What, how you cut me lying? By quoting John 20? You are stupid. John 20 does not even mention what you are saying. You are a certified idiot. And let me open John 20 for you. Give me a second, hold on. And then people will laugh at you. Hmm. This is John 20. You said from 7 to 10, right? Uh, here we go, this is from 7 to 10. Hmm? Read it. Stupidity is amazing. Certified idiot. Do you want me to play for you the chapter too? I can play it for you. It's my pleasure to play the gospel. John 20. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he stooping down, and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying. Yet when he not in... Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple, which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw, and believed. Okay. For as yet they knew. So, this is John 20, the one you asked me to read, from chapter 7 to chapter 10. Idiot. We don't even know how to quote a verse from the Bible, maybe. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Any beautiful, brave thoughts about Islam? Anyone? Followers of the prophet of Gog and Magog behind two mountains. A guy whose name is Zulkarnain, the guy with the two horns. Even the name is weird. All of us we know that the Roman they used to wear a hat, have two horns. And there's a Syrian, 
he's a Syrian, not a Syrian Syrian writer. He wrote a book, a fiction book, about a man with the two horn, which is Alexander the Great. The stupid Muhammad, he made Alexander the Great a prophet of Allah, a messenger of Allah, and he found where the sun set and where the sun rise. The story in front of you. And the Muslim, they try to deny that this is Alexander the Great. Even in their interpretation, it says he is the one who built Alexandria. <laughs> Question, who is the one who built Alexandria? <laughs> Brother, it's not Alexander the Great. So why it's called Alexandria? <laughs> And in case you do not know, yeah, I wanted to make a short video. In case you do not know, Alexander the Great, he was a homosexual, or sorry, a bisexual, which means he sleep with boys, he sleep with women. And then suddenly he became a messenger of Allah. The story in front of you. Logan Mago. He found where the sun set. And when the Muslim they say, no, brother, this is how he thought, brother. He thought, like when you go to the, 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 the ocean, brother, it says that, like, you know, you, don't you see the sun go in the water, brother? The one is talking is Allah. And he did not say he thought. He says, wajadaha, he found it. He found it. Allah is talking, not him. Allah reporting what he found. So he found it sitting in a spring, not an ocean. So why you are putting the word ocean? He found it sitting in a spring of a hot spring. This is again coming from the legions that the sun take its heat because a human being, he saw like there's some places where there is volcano water, boiling water, where the sun disappear and come second day, like at night go cold. And then in the morning, come back with the heat. It must be she is taking a shower. Just to show you something before we finish for today. I mean, yeah, supposedly. Ah, my back hurt from sitting. Okay, let me show you something here. <clears throat> Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. This is the chapter of Al Qalam. The chapter of what? Of Al Qalam, mean the pen. All right. Let us read together. The Islamic Religion Discovery Channel. And from his narration in the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said regarding interpretation of Allah saying noon. Noon, he says, Allah swear by noon, which is the wheel that carry the earth in its back while in water <coughs> and beneath, which is a bowl. And under the bowl is the rock, and under the rock is a dust, and none knows what is under the dust, save Allah. Look here, the mystery, like here is a mystery. Sorry, we cannot tell you more. So now we discover that the earth is carried by a whale, his name is Noon. Noon in the top of the bowl, bowl in the top of a rock, rock in the top of a spring of water. The name of the wheel is Lewish, not Lewish for a Khan. This is different Lewish. And it said his it is name is Lataya. The name of the bull is Bahamut. And some they say to Hadalahut or Liwana. And the wheel is in the sea called Adwad. And it is uh, it's like a small bowl in a huge sea. The sea is in Hollywood water or rock, whereby there's four thousand cracks. I believe strongly the one who come with this is the one who have 4,000 cracks in his head.
if you go and search right now in Google you will find that many before they used to believe that ball is carrying the earth and even they believe the reason we have earthquake because the ball is getting tired and he move the earth from one horn to the other Hmm? This is very ancient stories, you know. Hmm. And even the Muslims, they have a, a, a drawing for this. Look at this. This is the whale. You see the whale? This is the ball. And this is the earth. <laughs> and this is your book. Nice to meet you. Another Islamic book. This is the earth. This is the ball. This is the whale. And this is the dish of the water. <laughs> What we can say more? Do you, do you want more? Huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then they make a thousand videos, million videos about scientific miracles of the Quran, brother. Yeah, the Quran is full of scientific. I'm going. To... I know. Uh, Christine, you cannot call me. Sorry, I take calls only from Muslims, not from Christians. Only Muslims. All right. So I'm truly convinced now that the Quran is a book of science and Muslims, they knew what they are talking about. And I invite you all to believe otherwise Bahamut, even Allah, he have a dog, Muhammad, he said. Anyone? Add this to my book. It's not in my book. I thought it is. No. <laughs> Anyway, I'm writing actually a book. I'm working it for many years now, actually. But because I'm not giving it, you see, this YouTube, this crazy YouTube is taking too much of my time. Like now I finish, I need to go and make a walk, like do a walk, do some sport. My back is frozen, you know, like I have to walk, do some physical stuff. Uh, and, and this YouTube thing take too much energy, you know. I need to stop coming here for some time so I can focus more in my uh, books. But in the same time, uh, I know that people they need me here and I feel guilty if I don't come otherwise I just told you I'm not going to make a long video I just said yesterday uh, today I said I will not make it really long when I started right I will not make it long and here we go but because I have too much passionate to serve and to help you know I find myself drowned into staying longer more questions come more questions come yeah i know muhammad he stole all his religion is collection from here and there like some from the hindus some from the christians some from the jews some from you know, sabian you name it whatever whatever ideas around him like the story of the seven sleepers, the story of the people of the cave, uh, the story of uh, this uh, Suleiman walking and talking to the end. This is all in the, the, the story of Suleiman. You find it in the, in the Legion of the Jews. Go download the book. It's called Legion of the Jews. Suleiman, he dies standing. Okay, oh, Suleiman dies standing how? Why should a man he die, die standing? Standing because Allah, He don't want the genie to notice that he is dead, brother. Uh, can't Allah delay his death? <laughs> and brother, how the genies did not notice that he is dead, brother? brother 
He died holding a stick, brother. Oof, 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 oof. So now if I hold a stick and I die, I will be standing even if I die? Look at this amazing book, brother. <laughs> and, and 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 here by the way what make it more horrible this is Quran this is not tafsir I mean it's so clear so when we decree death on him for him Suleiman nothing informed them the genie of his death except the little worms of the earth who kept chewing slowly his stick I curse your worms you are showing the stick of Suleiman. I mean, aren't you ashamed of your snack? So the guy now, Suleiman, he dies standing. He's dead for a year. If you go and read the interpretation of a Mika theory, you will see it says he was almost, he was dead for a year. A year! And nobody noticed that Suleiman is dead. Brother... Don't you think this is too big of a lie? Let us go to Ibn Kathir because they will say to you, he's lying, he's lying. It doesn't say that, see, you know. Chapter 34, verse 14. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hmm. Read carefully and love. Don't mention names of kids in my channel. Bring men to me. Men, men only. There are kids. This is Ibn Kathir, this is not a Christian prince saying, this is, I have nothing to do with it, you know. I'm just showing you what Muslims believe. Read carefully. Uh, where is the story? Uh, we chose the wrong verse, hold on. Too many pages open in my in my uh, let me close some okay so chapter 34 verse number 14 read and laugh again this is not Christian Prince this is Ibn Kathir they're big potato big fat liar where is the story Like what? Hold on. I don't want to hurt your eyes. Uh. Okay, it's taking me to the wrong. I don't know what's wrong with the website. Hold on, let me do it again. Okay, let us see now. All right, finally, now we got it correctly. Okay, read carefully, guys. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him to do labor. The genie brother, they work for Suleiman. Yes, they built for him. What, anyone remember what they built for him? They built for him a synagogue, and they built for him statues. I thought the statues is haram. That's what the Quran says. He reminded leaning on his stick, which was his staff. And Ibn Abbas, may Allah blessed, pleased with him, and Mujahid, and Al-Hassan, and Qutada, and other Sayyid, he stayed like that for a long time, nearly a year. <laughs> Are you there, Muslims? This is a religion. The guy he died standing, leaning on a stake for a year. Okay, brother, what happened after one year? What happened? Tell us more. 
The story brother continue okay get your candies okay now if you listen carefully I will tell you the story and you sleep right away don't forget to brush your teeth before you sleep okay okay when the creatures of the earth which has was kind of warm eat through the stick brother it become weak and fell to the ground true story I know many people, they die holding a stick. I'm going to open my chat and I will die right now holding a stick and you people, you think I am here for the community, I will open your camera too. And nobody will notice I'm dead. Nobody. I mean, the guy is dead for a year. Standing on a stick. Like what? And then those little worm. Why you don't get a treated piece of wood from Home Depot, you idiot? So the worm will not. And why you are waiting? Why Solomon is using a wood stick? Use gold. Will not rust, and the worm will not eat it. And then he will stand until now. So the guy is a king. He have an army. He have ministers. He have wives. He have servants. He need to eat. Nobody noticed that the king is dead because he was standing. You go to the room your majesty do you want to eat he don't answer uh, he's doing yoga yoga his wife she honey look at this new clothes i dress for you honey oh he's doing yoga okay she comes second day honey look i got a bikini for you he's not answering okay a week after is not honey don't are you are you striking or something you don't want to eat honey don't you feel like you want to go to the bathroom you are standing there forever 10 days pass and you are not moving nobody the minister the prime minister coming to talk to you your majesty we have an enemy in the borders what we shall do are you there your majesty oh his majesty is meditating he's reading the book of zachar Naik. A year a year you liars I and mean, come on like make it two days I mean come on let it let make it like something we can swallow and what is the purpose of this so the genie will not notice that he is dead until they finish the work why Allah don't make him stay until he okay why Allah don't make him stay alive until they finish the work So look, Allah is deceiving the genie. He wanted them to believe that Solomon is still alive. And now Allah is in trouble. Okay, Suleiman, he died. What I will do now? He put his hand between his back. He bent over Allah. And then he go backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. What I will do? I got it. I will make him stay like this on the stick. Uh. Hmm. Any Muslim? Uh, Orin Hashem. My friend, I mean, any verse you quote for me. Why well, you don't call me Hashem so we can we can love together? Right? Why you don't call me so we can love? Any Muslim would like to call me right now and show me something scientific in the Quran, I will be happy to take your call immediately, even though I'm here for many hours. Who want to do that? Any Muslim? Last call before I go, because it's, you know, I cannot stay really longer than this. Anyone?
Somebody said that he tried to find me in Patreon and there's many Christian prince. That's not true, my friend. There's only one Christian prince in Patreon. And anyway, the link is there, even in the first message you see when you join. Anyone? All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope that the Muslims, they see that you Muslims do not know where is what you worship, who is your God. You have nothing but a bunch of fiction stories. Is put together, and they are not like they are not even in harmony together. They are a collection of silly stuff. If you read any chapter in the Quran, you will find that there is no connection between those stories. I mean, what what this is about? Genie, genie in the ball. The ring of Solomon. Do you know the story of the ring of Solomon? I don't want to, if I start talking about it, I will stay until tomorrow. But just to make it simple, according to Muslims, when Suleiman he went to the bathroom, he gave his wife Jarada, which means Loktos, he gave her his ring because it's haram, haram to take the ring of Allah to the bathroom. Come on, you cannot take the ring of the Allah to the bathroom, poo poo, no way. So he gave her the, the he gave the ring to Jarada. Then she told brother. He came and he made himself look like Solomon. Jarada, she said, what? I thought you were in the bathroom. You're done. He said, give me my ring. She gave him the ring, the foolish woman. The shaitan, he put the ring in his hand and right away he became the king. And the poor Suleiman. Nobody believed that he is the king. Because he don't have the ring. And the one who has the ring is the Lord of the Ring. And now we knew where the Novi, the Lord of the Ring, is coming from. The Lord of the Ring. Ta -ta 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 -ta. True story of a prophet of Allah. And then, brother, after Suleiman, he was kicked from the palace and Shaitan became the king because he got the ring. He started having sex with the wives of Suleiman. And, brother, Shaitan is so good in Boom Boom. The women, they notice that their husband is not like before. He never had enough of boom boom. So they went to the elders and they told them, the King Solomon is act weird. He's so good in bed. And this is how they decide that this is cannot be the true Solomon from his penis, brother. See, this is what happens if you have an extra powerful penis. I mean, this guy, he looked like Solomon. He had the ring of Solomon, but his penis, brother, doesn't act like Solomon. So they get him busted. They call the soldiers. The penis of Solomon is not the same as the penis of Solomon. We got him busted. It's so powerful. There's no way that this is the Prophet Solomon. Solomon, he heard, sorry, the fake Solomon Shaitan, he heard that they got him busted. So he decided to run away and he threw the ring in the ocean. And then, brother, look, Allah, how he function, Allah, Alhamdulillah. Solomon, he was working as a putter. Next to the sea, he saw a guy who bought some fish. He told him, let me carry it for you. Because now Solomon, the real Solomon became homeless. So, you know, the king came from the king. He's not a king no more. Poor guy. The guy, he said to him, what I will pay you for carrying my fish? He said, give me one fish. I will carry the fish for you to the house. The guy, he agreed. They went all the way there. And then brother... When Solomon he opened the fish, he found his ring. 
and he became again the king. Hey Muslims, who is the one who wanna say to me I'm lying? I can show you the whole story with pages and reference. Islam is absolutely true religion. Otherwise, how come the one who made the Lord of the Ring movie is copying Prophet Muhammad? Can you explain that to me? For sure, we cannot. And look like Suleiman, his life is full of strategy, tragedy. I mean, look at this. He dies standing. I want to die eating cake. Can I do that, Allah? Or baklava. <laughs> Brother, there's no way that there's any other true God beside Allah. So the coward, the, the idiot Muhammad, he hears stories from the Jews, they tell it to their children. The guy, he put it in the Quran, as you see. He heard the Jews saying that. Okay, where Muhammad did get the story from? All of us, we knew this is a fiction. You can find it in the Legion of the Jews. And then he made a Quran. Is it obvious? I know, like each one of you, he want to die doing something, uh, depending on who you are. But <clears throat> obviously, it's not good to die as a king who loved by Allah because you will die standing, you know. And the genies are making statues for, I thought statues is haram, adultery. Adultery, brother. Is it Prophet Muhammad who destroyed the idols? So, how Allah he order Suleiman to build the synagogue with the statues? Hmm? Now, I have a challenge is not to go live on air tomorrow. Guys, do you think I can make this challenge to myself to resist the temptation? The problem is the Muslim, they made comment and those comment, they kill me. Like I cannot go, like I want to go talk about it. You know, like I'm trying, I'm not, maybe I should not, I would try my best not to read those comments. I mean, it's hard, really hard. It is really hard, so I'm, I'm going to I'm going to fight it. You know, everybody get tempted by something. I get tempted by you know. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, and by the way, I just order in case you do not know. I order a stick from Amazon.com. Dot Allah. And I order a stick made from aluminium. Because I don't want to die, and then those stupid worms eat my steak, and then Muslim, they knew I am dead a year ago, and like they will find out that I am alive, but I'm dead. I'm not going to let that happen to me. I learned the lesson from Solomon. I will go live holding the steak all the time, made it from aluminium. I die, I die standing. And I will be standing forever, and nobody will notice. Nobody. You will not smell or decay and your body fell apart and your body start farting after you die. Nobody will notice, brother. Because you are holding a stake, brother. Hmm. And that's true. It makes sense. If you are not convinced until now, and by the way, this is Ibn Kathir, the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. So if Muslim, they want to say he's lying, this is not true. This is the Quran. Even the Quran say that clearly. I mean, we do not need, you know, hmm, read it. Hmm? Yeah, I will try not to come tomorrow. I will try, but I cannot promise you, you know, I wish. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to take a vacation. And I'm going to go to the mountains where there's no internet. This is the only way I can stay away from you guys. I know you hate me and you want to get rid of me. It's okay. I understand the situation. You know, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> so I'm going to take, uh, I will go to the mountains and stay there for uh, for maybe a few weeks. 
uh, can you make a program about Brunei Sharia law? I mean, Brunei Sharia law. I mean, what Sharia law? This guy, all his kingdom is based on the British and the American, and then he have Sharia law. How that work? Is it the Quran says take not Christian and Jews as a friends? This guy is a fraud. He used Islam to control his people so he can steal the money. My friend, Islam is the best way to control. So how a king can control? You see, in the old days, false kings, they used to use a Christianity too to do the same thing. Faithy kings, they used to use God of the Bible to control people. And they used their faithy priest. This has always happened in history. Controlling the, car, the, the, the crowd is an art of deception. So if we need to use God, use God. God save the queen. That's it. Even if the queen is corrupt and scam. That's it. The priest says, God save the queen. You know, they, and they will quote for you a verse from the Bible that says that God is the one who chose the kings. Well, my friend, hold on. John the Baptist, he paid his life against a king. So they don't want you to read that verse that you can oppose a king if he is a bad person. They want to quote for you a verse where it says, Obey your king. They want to quote for you that Jesus says, Give to what Caesar to Caesar and what to God to God. But they will not quote for you what John the Baptist did. Because they want you to obey. Not to oppose. They use God. Those fraud priests. The same as the fraud Muhammad. The devil, my friend, he changed his uniform. But he never changed inside. This is why the Lord, he warned us, he says, be aware of false teachers and false prophets who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. They are wolves. Oh. And this is why, you know, we as a Christians, we should examine the person is if he fit to listen to or not. If you go to most, sadly, you know, most of those who teach in churches today, they avoid the most important topics in order to keep their job. They are afraid of government. They are afraid of, uh, uh, you know, afraid of saying the truth, as simple as that. We don't have John the Baptist who said to the king, you are a fraud. You cannot do that. We don't have those people. Maybe they exist here and there, but trust me, those people will, be, will, will not, they will not be uh, shiny. They will cover them. They will try to hide them. They will try to bury them alive. If a person try to be decent, all the force of evil will be against him. Um, so this is why the Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. And this is how you know if a priest he is a priest of, of the Lord or he is a priest of the devil. And there's many of them are the priests of the devil, sadly. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. I don't know if I will come tomorrow again or not. But if I come, sorry for you. And what I can do, you know, uh, love you all. And I really, I'm really grateful for having every and single one of you. And I appreciate those who download my videos. And I heard bad news about people vlogging the videos of my video because simply download the video of my video from them. My friend, if you add a subtitle to the video, it does not make it yours. And if you are a servant of God, then you should be asking people to download the video from you. If you don't agree, to let people download in your video, which you are the one who translate, then I tell you, don't download my videos. Otherwise, I might flog you myself. The video we make is for everybody. For everybody. If you are here, a person who's trying for you, you have your own 
a guy like you know my videos you don't I don't know you you don't know me this is my work and I am giving it for free I'm giving my books for free who are you to flag people for my video who are you this is why we say there's people they are Christian by names and there's Christians who really they believe in Christ if you believe in Christ you serve and you don't wait for return you don't wait for people even to subscribe to you you are doing it because you believe it's true it is good to do not because you believe there is something will come back to you from it so be a servant the Lord he says you cannot be a master unless you became a servant be Christian don't worship the word me let your brother download the video encourage him to do it and if you want people to know about your channel make a logo put your etc so whatever whoever copy the video still he can see it's yours it's you who add subtitle let us be good as our Lord he asked us to do be holy like your father thank you God bless you and see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we prove it every day take care